The 2022 U.S. Poker Open started with a Shannon Shore victory. The Alabama native took down event number one in impressive fashion. Then it was Justin Young's turn. The longtime pro won the first Pot Limit Omaha event of the series. Good for $200,000. Today, it's another stacked final table with the Golden Eagle on standby here at the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. And we welcome you in to Las Vegas, Nevada, to the Aria Resort and Casino, and to the Poker Go Studio. It's final table coverage of event number three, a $10,000 buy-in No Limit Texas Hold'em Tournament. Come join us inside, everyone. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. And Brent, I would say this is a, a familiar scene at this final table. Oh yeah, thank Jeff. How we? How about Shannon Shore and Eric Seidel once again at another final table together, sort of father and son, if you will. Okay, I could kind of see that. Seidel finishing in fifth in event number one. Shannon Shore winning that event to kick off the U.S. Poker Open. But everybody looks up at that man, Jonathan Little, who hopefully stops looking down at his phone. All the chips for Little. Well, there's nothing little about this chip lead right now. He's got 71 big Woo. lines, 4.3 million to be exact. Let us take a look at how it all breaks down. This leaderboard is presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. Little in at first with almost 4.3 million. Brent, as you mentioned, and hey, look who's in second place. Uh-oh, the most beautiful man in poker, Jeremy Osmus. And also the winner of the Poker Go Cup. He starts today with almost 2 million in chips. A look at the payouts brought to you by Stormax. Our final six are guaranteed $52,800. About an 18K pay jump from sixth to fifth. And up top in this one, more than 211 thousand dollars event number three final table underway 30k 60k okay. the 60k big blind ante for about four Here more hands alabama four hands alabama four indeed yeah we're gonna shake and bake early here a couple of nines for sure a lot of short stacks as well in comparison to jonathan little this is nidus you dorn pim the colorful sweater <clears throat> Shore opens to 120,000 with the two nines. Adam Hendricks also here. Number one all time in the great state of Alaska as far as earnings are concerned. We've seen him more and more in this studio over the last so year curious. or so. So after this, you're playing the big bet mix, not going out? Correct. But this, if you win. This guy's gonna, he's, he's run in the running, man. Two, two final tables out of three tournaments. Presented already. by he's gotta, he's gotta try to win it. He's gotta play everything now. If only you knew how hard I'm anti-sweating Eric. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what place did you get in the first one? Don't worry, I'm no threat. <laughs> <laughs> you got first, and you got like fifth or something? That is correct. Shore on top of the U.S. Poker Open and all standings. All running stems on like, you know, knowing yeah. You know, adding that factor in. Yeah. I, I get the spike, call him ace 3 0. He just fires it in. <laughs> Two tens for Jeremy Austin. <laughs> 130. Queen Jack of Clubs for our chip leader. A beautiful spot, too, on the button. He can proceed in various ways. Alex to oh. flat. Or with the king nine offsuit. This is a bit of a slippery spot for Shannon. Yeah, we've got king nine, but you you have to be suspect going three ways. You're, You're never even like thrilled when it comes king high. More weighted. Worried about the Jonathan the Little on the button. Of course, Jeremy Osmus with that they, open. They trim it down like the multiple. As we can see, he would have been in a great spot post flop. Exactly, but like it's not. It's basically dollar for dollar, except like once it gets. Well, we have seen that more and more over the last couple of years. Oh, players okay, tightening up so from the big blind and multi-way pots. Like three ten Ks is probably worth like two twenty. Something like that. Yeah. 
should see. I feel like they should do it also on like field. It's side. Auspice oh, deciding it's what okay, is like optimal. Out of position against the chip leader yeah, with a couple of like tens and three ten Ks. Seems he's gonna try yeah, I'm not sure exact and oh, no. pump it up. Out of position, two tens, one sixty-five, representing a great deal of strength. Yeah, Little does have that back door equity. Tournament format, that's about it. He's not gonna go down without a fight. Little does make the call. 740K in the pot, as you see on the bottom right corner of your screen. Four spades on the turn. The 10s for Austin is still best. Jeremy not thrilled with Jonathan Little's decision to continue. However, <coughs> I also believe that he would expect Little to come along for the ride on a, a variety of flops, no matter what his holding is. Various floats. Here's a pot control sort of check. Opens up the door for Little. Just queen high. Little does bet here. You can bet he's also going to need to bet the river to tell a believable story. Does fire 350,000, a little less than half pot. You must have worked on that last night. We're going bad. It's not a bad bet. 7-5 gets there. Certainly Jonathan can have a hand like 7-5 suited. And he's able to just put Jeremy in a really brutal spot with two tens. You are guessing on the river no matter what. Folds the tens yeah. and Little gets it done with just queen high. Putting Osmus in a tough spot yeah, and I, raking in the chips to extend his chip lead. That's nice, that's clever, crafty play by Little. Very aggressive, but sort of in a, in a I don't know, sort of a, a hidden way, Jeff. A new season of High Stakes Poker is available now exclusively on Poker Go. Brunson, Negranu, Ivy, and more battle in poker's most iconic cash game. New episodes every Monday through May 23rd. Subscribe now. Use the code USPO22 to get a new annual subscription for less than $7 a month. Big Bet Mix, event number four of the USPO. Yeah, hopefully we get a, a big turnout for that. That is No Limit Hold'em, Pot Limit Omaha, and no limit, deuce to seven, single draw. Spicy. Adam Hendricks with the ace jack of clubs. One more hand at this level, so he has a little bit more than 15 bigs. We'll put in a sizable amount. What'd you start the hand with? 900. Oh, Nidus has ace 10 in the big blind. On. And the chips will go into the middle here, and what a spot Adam Hendricks has found himself in to kick things off in event number three. Adam, whose turn is it, though? Oh, man. Now, Nidus did tell us before play. This one for you, huh? He's the luckiest person in the world. He did say that, Jeff. Everything he touches turns to gold. Let's see if Hendricks can avoid the run oh, bad. more time next, too, so that gives you a little edge. Oh, my God. Yeah. Can't wait. Hendricks, the one all in and at risk. Eight, five, two, uh, spades? two spades. No, thank you. <laughs> I just does out that backdoor flush draw, but for now looks for a 10. Oh. Does not find it on the turn. Almost your card. Good game, and it'll take a 10 to eliminate Adam Hendricks. River card. It's a six. <gasps> Hendricks finds the double and look out Manifest for Adam so Hendricks. Yeah, that is one way to get started <laughs> with a really super like spin. And Nidus really now, he becomes our short <laughs> stack down at 265,000. That is four big blinds remaining. Adam Hendricks has his second cash of the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. Finished in 11th place in event number two, the 10K yeah, PLO. Yeah, nine, 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 Bit of bewilderment nine, for Nidus. Doesn't nine, get there. Yeah. <coughs> I'm really good at these ones, though. You are. Extraordinarily good. Nidus can spin. You haven't lost one yet. I think you'll hang around. Thank you, Adam. 
a lot of these guys the can spin. They played a long time last night <laughs> Almost on the bubble. Almost 30 in the morning, I believe, is how long this thing lasted. That Nobody was before Roko Stisha was eliminated in seventh Maybe. set I, no, I our final table. Last night, <laughs> two times, two months. And Osmus was um, running away with it 36, 36, for a long time on the well, bubble, and then Little just it, heated um, up when it mattered most. I think so. Yeah, one, two, one, two, three, four, last yeah, yeah, it was if you want to check out those live updates, head on over to pgt.com. You'll see the live reporting. I got Tim Duckworth here till the late hours. The commish. Yeah, the, the commissioner. PGT. And he'll be writing up the big bet event today, event number four. Jack for Little. End of the day for Little. And I, you know, when Jeremy Osmus goes back and he rewinds the tape on that first hand he played, I think he may be kicking himself for betting the flop with two tens as opposed to check calling. The hand could have played drastically different. Hey. Yeah. Ace three off okay. with four bigs behind for Nidus. Wondering if this is good enough with just ace high, realizing a chance he could have a 60% favorite hand here if he were up against queen jack, king queen, that sort of holding. He's going to opt out. I don't know about that one. I kind of like the fold. He now gets to sit on the button and watch the chaos sort of unravel around him before he has to commit the rest of his chips. Um, yeah. yeah. Yes. Possibly ladder up. Yeah, Look at the bio hands. board for Jonathan Little presented by GPI THM. Little has been around this game for a long time. Runs pokercoaching.com. Has more than $7 million in career live tournament earnings. And according to our YouTube thumbnail, it's been 4,883 days. Since Jonathan Little has won a substantial tournament. Is that, is that accurate? Have we looked this up, Jeff? Yeah, well, I mean, he last won a tournament in 2019. Okay, for how much? K. Well, that seems yeah, great. That's, yeah, that's, that's a big win, right? That seems great. <laughs> the thumbnail, thumbnail artist has been Vendetta wow. against yeah. Little. I want to welcome in everybody checking us out on YouTube and on Twitch and on Facebook Nitty and player. on Poker Yeah, Go. apparently. Thank you all for being oh. here. I didn't study this one where he gets the double and you have no chips. Yeah. Didn't have enough time for that. Didn't have enough time for Nidison that. One. for I most of I thought you were just going to bust. And then. Every time, right? Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want to have to worry about <laughs> I it. I was too. <laughs> I, was, I was like, look at the field. Like, okay. Don't okay. think I could get in a rip. Definitely. 30 yeah. every time. Maybe I'm supposed to. Am I supposed to shove the queen jack there? Probably. What, when I'm there? Two, I don't think 35. So. I don't think so. Two, 35. Sort of like. You had 30 big ones. Top heavy, too. Oh, no, he called. Fuck. Just called. Seidel just called, so they will not yeah. reveal the cards just, just yet. <laughs> okay, then I can get it in good. Let's Seidel just getting way too good of a price here from the big blind. His blinds have gone up. hand, yeah. 40K, 80K, and 80K big blind ante. Oh. Comes king seven deuce with two hearts, so that's pretty dramatic. Was a huge flop for me. Huge flop for me, too. Oh, my God. The flush draw That's against terrible. the top two pair. Oh. Nidus all in and at risk. Well, the last oh, hand that Nidus wants oh. to see is some sort of flush draw. Hoping he's Good game. got lucky against the better king. I Here we go, off to the races. Yeah? Okay. yeah, it's not a full moon anymore. The sun's out. <sighs> yeah. Put his face up there. <laughs> A king on the turn oh, will lock it up for slide. Nidus. Yeah, no fun at all, says <laughs> <laughs> no Eric Seidel. Seidel now falls below yeah, the 10 like big line, line mark. Uh, with two that loss, 745,000 <laughs> remains Nidus. <laughs> now Opportunity okay. to uh, spin so up to yeah, seven big up. lines. Uh, 2.5. Nidus, the winner of WTU Maryland a couple years ago. Nidus is 27 years young, uh -huh. and he claims that he's retired. He's retired. He's done. Just floating so around, he's playing poker. a little finance, a little poker. <laughs> he's, just, he's just done. Lock it up. He says he loves playing here at the Poker Go studio because the good players, quote, have to be nice to the fish. <laughs> he, he so he's a professional kind of poker player who's now retired and deems himself a fish. Yeah, he's definitely And he also has won a WPT title? That's correct. 
Something tells me he's really not that much of a fish, Jeff. I don't know. Perry taught me last night. I got paid for Perry. Oh, yeah? Said, wow. Good yeah. read. I can tell. <laughs> How much do you have on this? Six? Six. Just under. Jonathan Little might be the hardest working guy in the entire poker industry when he is not playing poker, our majors inside the studio and traveling across the United States. He's waking up at five in the morning with his children, getting him ready for school, sending him to school, sitting in his office all day and working on that website, pokercoaching.com. Wow, second raise on Little the and his wife, Amy, have two kids, yourself, James and Thomas. <laughs> Find a weak big blind, you just, who's big blind? Gotta try it. <laughs> wow, you talked him into folding. Yeah, that was a strong. King 10 oh, no. it's coming, baby. for our short stack. <laughs> That's how he does it. All in, no limp. I was hoping no he would have limp. limped your kings again so we could, we could spike on you. Osmus is yeah. seven Jeremy. behind. He's Thanks, Jeremy. probably we'll found up. a customer here. <laughs> Osmus with 18 big blinds. This is just ICM madness going on. Seidel with eight bigs. Nidus all in now here with only seven bigs. Keep in mind, Shannon Shore, he has 16 big blinds here. So this does affect Jeremy's decision with two sevens. 18K pay jump from six to fifth. Don't blow a spot, come on. <laughs> oh, he learns the flat. Osmus he will make the, the call. <laughs> <laughs> One time, Rockets. Seven. Seven. Oh, sick. I had your seven. Oh, my God. Do you? All right. You're really good with offsuit kings, too. I, I don't think I'm going to win this one either, though. You got me with king, king <laughs> You tore Ben all in and at yeah, risk. Now. With king, king 10 suited, against the sevens of Osmus. Like, yeah. nobody and plays king high better. <laughs> Every yeah, time you get to a king high, it doubles. It's true. You always had ace high, though. <coughs> yeah. Pair still would have lost. Ten, seven, seven. Ace. Seven. Ace. Or ten, what ten, else seven? I have? Osmus has run pretty well here over yeah, the last exactly. couple ten, months. Ten, ten, seven. Ten, ten, seven. Wow. Doesn't oh run well gosh. on this flop. Uh, six, it comes nine, ten, nine, eight, nine, five. Nine. You could not have manifested this <laughs> run any <laughs> harder. No, no, you were made. jinxing me. Yeah. You're jinxing All me right. for sure. No comment. Six of diamonds. As you heard Little saying, as we saw, he did fold a seven. Not feeling so good anymore. <laughs> so two outs on top of your like screen. We know there's oh, one seven. Oh, this is going to be seven. I feel it. I feel it zinging. I already feel the pain. The zing is in my heart. The river is a jack, and Nidus has found a couple <laughs> double up. Okay, no zing here. Nidus back on board. Here we yeah, go. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Anything yeah, can happen. Next these final like tables, we're going to be wheeling anyway. and dealing all day <laughs> with these short stacks. <laughs> my favorite part about the game, where we started. The gamble, the glory. Well, Get short, run it to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Seriously. It's pretty lucky to have king high every time. Like, it's true. Yeah, it's a pretty good hand. And he folded an ace for some reason, too. I folded, yeah, he folded an ace. Whatever, no, nobody knows. Lost his mind on that hand. Probably would have been out. Seidel just, now uh, becomes our short stack. Feel it, you know? Just like that, Osmus not too far behind. He's down to 11 oh, bigs, and here's Seidel. He, just, he, just, he folds a 6-3 suited. Great fold, Eric. <laughs> what, what's the blind? That seems like so much. Right. Nice opportunity here for Little. The awareness, pounce, open that button quite liberally and attack these shorter stacks. Hendrix and perhaps, Shore are going to have to be extra tight. Yeah, perhaps two oh. of the most vulnerable ones at that. Although, when Shore looks down at Ace King, he's going to want to participate. I think Shannon realizes he can get a lot of folds out of Jonathan Little every time he does decide to move it in pre-flop. Ten seconds. All in. All you in. certainly got to sell it for a moment, right? Posture, just in case Little has an actual decision to make. I didn't know if that was supposed to be a shove or a min raise. It was close. Two Jeffries. Monster hand. Oh, you heard Little thinking about just ripping it on the button. Everyone plays so tight beside me. It's just like a cash game. I'm all in every Perhaps other Perhaps thinking hand. Hendricks a touch too wing. deep for that. I don't know. Let's take a look at the first recorded live caches, and this is still crazy to me, Brent. Eric Seidel's first live cash, the 88 main, oh finishing second to Johnny that Chan. Is, I mean, how is that even real? And we've got some vets here. Seidel, Little, Shore, Osmus, 2006 and 2008. 
Oh, yeah, and more of the cool. newcomers in Nidus and Adam Hendricks. If I didn't have any friends in town, I would definitely do play a little bit there. After winning yeah, event one, Shore told us Cover. his Ooh, plans more. did include playing the 25K level, playing the 50K main. I think Shannon Shore has his eyes set on that Golden Eagle Shannon now that he's won. made his Holy second God. final table. Certainly the, the confidence, the momentum is there. Monster. Just a great time for Shannon yeah, Shore, great period of his life. Just had his dirty diaper. first yeah. child, baby <laughs> Nora, <laughs> with his Oh, the wife. Dirty well. <laughs> two dirty diapers. Joy, and they got married about two weeks ago, Jeff. Wow. You guys were babies. Crushed. A look at those standings. Shore on top. Second place in event number one, Ren Lin in third. Dirty Justin dirty Young diaper? and Tommy Three Lee, Three Lee who are heads up yeah, for the PLO the title. Go two and four. And Dan Shackbrett, the only right? player to it's cash like the first two events. Who would go nuts with three deuce off. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but I think it was like a home game thing or like a Yeah, it was like, like yeah. six uh, players yeah, yeah. have two line. caches at the USBO. Shaq, Sean Perry, Fox and Hendricks, Shore and Seidel. Damn, I could stop and go. We see Steven Chidwick has arrived. You see Chidwick in the background. Probably not. Definitely not work. I'm all in again. Little does shove, oh, and Nidus <laughs> looks down at the ace king of okay. clubs. Oh, whatever. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. <laughs> what an opportunity Nidus. for oh, Nidus wow. to this keep is, on shooting lose, up. Right? This has to be the one. <laughs> yeah, four big blinds a moment ago. Oh, this is the one I lose. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having a blast. Oh, I appreciate it. It's my I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, no way oh. loses. Oh, this has to be the one I lose. I just bring such a vibrant high presence guy. to the you poker really table. Are. Ace high guy. I've never high. seen you lose the all in with the king in your hand. But the, no, the, it, but the ace high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I think you got it in good king. this time, so you can't win. Yeah, the king is just the flop. For you. Yeah. 10 4 deuce yeah. with two clubs. <laughs> all the drama. With two <laughs> clubs. Yeah, it's close. Wow. Nah, you yeah, know, club. Nah, good, game. <laughs> good game. Good game. Looking for a club or for a king. Oh my Doesn't God. find it on the turn, but does <laughs> oh, find a couple more it, outs. Oh boy. Nidus yeah, yeah. on his feet. 15 outs. Is it too many outs, Jeff? A club, a queen, oh. or a king will get the job done for another Sometimes double up. Know what was in there. There's yeah. no chance I was winning this one. Oh, it's the three of spades on the river. Yeah, How do you brick it? Yeah, yeah. And Nidus, the dream is <laughs> over. Oh, You're fun to play with. opportunity yeah, yeah. to Davis spin it up from four bigs yeah. on his way out. I didn't even have a chance to <laughs> comment on this beautiful yeah. Sherbert sort of gorgeous. rainbow <laughs> hoodie that he's wearing. I, I'm actually I mean, a big fan. Hands, Have you ever seen anybody all see in you wearing that. Like every other hand. Yeah, yeah, he, it was it was fine, but I'm just saying we played like, how many hands did we play? Ten. He was out in like six, four or five. $52,800. <laughs> a blast to have at the table. Your kryptonite's gone. Yeah, good. Yeah, you have a shot yeah. now. Perfect. I like it. And Brent, look at this chip lead now for Jonathan Little. That's, and that is huge for Little. Obviously got it in terrible and faded the whole world. Even but if he had lost that pot, I mean, that? it was I mean, just it wide was open at this on. final table. Uh, got it still holes, is, but yeah. Jonathan Little up to now 78 bigs. He has well, accumulated almost. up to 6.3 million. Break, I guess. He knows what to do with that stack. He is going to attack I'm scared of this and put a ton of pressure, specifically Adam Hendricks and Shannon <laughs> Shore. Uh, they're not the shortest, but they are the most vulnerable and have to be the most careful no. with their decisions, considering Ausmus and Seidel are oh so short. <laughs> Case in point, Little just says all of it with the Jack-9. Shore folds ace-9, Ausmus folds okay. ace-6. Inside L folds Jack seven. Jack six of clubs gets through. All right, it's his big blind, boys. Let's, let's Good luck. <laughs> it's going to be a team effort to take down Little, says Adam Hendricks. Yeah, he's feeling good right now, Little. This is a bit of destiny for him. He's, How you draw he can it taste up. that victory. But Jeff, you're never safe That's inside right. the studio. That is right. Little had one U.S. Poker Open cash last year. Came in the main event, the 50K, finished in fourth for $231,000. I think he needed that cash just to 
uh, I don't know. Oh, he was getting pretty crushed. Put a little <laughs> yeah. Band-Aid on the yeah. wound because he was getting buried. Awesomeness, the ace nine of spades. On the button with eight bigs. All, in. All, in. All of it. Oh my. Oh. Little nods. Calls with two wow. kings. I can beat that hand. Definitely. What you got? Ace. Oh, and suited. Okay. Only the ace. All that matters. Both way qualified. Osmus, the Poker Go Cup champion. Looking for a little help to survive here. Obviously can't. The U.S. Poker open and finds an ace in the window. That's what the most beautiful man in poker does oh so well. Get it in bad from behind <laughs> and come out on top. If the aces no hold, Osmus is up to about 20 bigs. And the aces do hold. Look out for Jeremy Osmus. I think we've played 10 hands and we've seen nine all-ins <laughs> thus far. You guys wanted chaos and action. Well, you've you've come Seven, to the right place. 16. Gets it in with the ace nine suited. Little finds two kings in the big blind. That not a problem for Osmus. And what a run it has been. For Jeremy, take a look at his last 15 months. Tournament earnings of more than $3 million. 38 caches, 7 top 3 finishes, 10 six-figure caches. He's won two bracelets in that time span. At the Poker Hill Cup, he had a first, a second, and two thirds. Yeah, he is on fire as of late. And, it, you know, it's nice to see when the, Gotta be when the good guys finish first. Oh, we know how, how dedicated he yeah. is to the craft, but also dedicated to the family at home. Able to balance both of those lives. Very difficult to do in this, this day and age amongst the lot, solvers so, yeah. and sims and whatnot. I'm shocked. <laughs> I have an idea. Uh, poker's great when you can just tell the guy the strategy, and yeah. I can just sit there and just like have handcuffs. I'm not going to shove everything, though. Oh, he took it away. Here comes Eric Seidel. That's six big blinds, 10-9 offsuit, and little knows how wide Seidel can be. King eight, not good it? enough, and it is going to be up to Adam Hendricks. Oh, mine, if he with makes this Jack call. With Jack 10. Uh-oh. Seidel with a little more than six bigs. I think he's got fold equity. I don't think Hendricks has to call, but maybe he just decides to gamble. If he does make that decision, he has got Seidel in a world of hurt. Yeah, it does make the call. Here we go. Seidel in trouble. I mean, this is the most all-in calls ever, right? For, well, I mean, we all started so short. You know? Well, it's not like we had five bigs all over uh, the place, you know? 20, we, the low stacks were 20. There was only five minutes on that level, but did, we did play late. To Jeremy's night. point, yet another all-in call. Yeah, it just keeps eight. happening, and it's more about the the types of hands that have been that's circulated, and a lot of big ones. That's unfortunate, unfortunate for you. You should definitely <laughs> do that. If it's Seidel's turn to get a little lucky. Switch Queen outs. 4 so They both flop gutters. A bit of a reversal. Seidel now needs a jack. Hendricks, of course, still out in front, but that nine is no good for Seidel. Turn brings the deuce. Only a jack saves Seidel's tournament life. It's a nine Denver. on the river. It's a straight for Hendricks. Good luck over there. And it's Eric Seidel finishing in fifth place. So two fifth place finishes to kick off the U.S. Poker Open for Seidel. No doubt disappointing. Uh, you know, it's hard to have great expectations when you Ooh, do yeah, come yeah. in you short. And, uh, he's going to head out, I believe, in the wrong direction. Of the studio. <laughs> well, you know, he, he knows that our camera is waiting for his walkout. For his elimination, for him to walk. and, and he knows that he can avoid the camera and just walk the other way. Not a big camera guy. He's got to come back eventually. Yeah. I, I think he's found a back a back route to get in and out of the studio, so we can't catch him. Like one point. And I have no doubt we'll have him here in the booth with us shortly. Jeff, you know he loves to visit you and I every other show. Working on getting Seidel here. We're going to do that in just a minute, I believe, according to our producers. Give him some time. You know, he went the opposite way, cool so it off. takes him a while to yeah, get back around Yeah, you got to cool here. off. One, two. And 
Hendrix with the ace eight in the small oh, blind and with Shore with less than 20 bigs in the big. Hendrix just rips it here. Nope. Shore does not have a quality. Wow, hard to believe, not an all-in and a call. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just used but to there's that at every least other an all hand. In. Yeah. Told myself any seven I'd call with it. <laughs> seven plus. <laughs> well, that's shaker. the empty seat of one Eric Seidel, but he started off this U.S. Poker Open pretty well, and, and what an incredible career for Seidel, the runner-up finish in the main in 1988. We, of course, saw that scene in Rounders time and time again. Nine World Series of Poker Bracelets, his latest one coming online in 2021. He's the Poker Hall of Famer. And there he is, just sitting down with his super coffee with his Fiji, yeah. probably preparing right for our interview. Right to the interview. back table, just making sure that they cut the cameras before he goes yeah. to register for the uh, the Big Bet Mix that's running. Oh, and how about Hendrix? Not just the king of spades, but the king of clubs as oh my well. God, Whoa. Just raise and take it. Trying to get us out of here. And yet again, another a lot of massive hand dealt yeah. out right here. Among everybody. <laughs> Remarkable. At this rate, we're going to be done in about 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. Let us know in the YouTube chat where you're watching us from. We know we have a worldwide audience. Appreciate every single one of you tuning in. Shore with sevens on the button. Well, here comes another one. Shannon Shore is our short stack on the button. He's got 15 big blinds. And I believe he has yet to decide his decision. Jeremy, we can see how he's going to react. The action is on Shannon, I believe. We'll find him here in a minute. <laughs> 900, the one there in the middle. Is. There he is. Osmus out of the way. How much should we start with? 1.255. King huh? six. Yeah, very good. Suited for a little. Little knows that Shore can absolutely be wide and King High is good enough. Give him a couple pips higher. Yeah. Give him the King yeah. 10. I think we, Get the chips we in. might do a little gambling. <clears throat> And if you have joined us, by the way, on YouTube, thank you so much. And make sure you subscribe my left. to our channel. And it doesn't hurt if you hit that little thumbs up, a little like. Really it goes a to. long ways. we got to get to 1,000 <laughs> in order to bring you another mm. stream tomorrow for free on our YouTube channel on Twitch. Viewers from Mississippi, South Africa, South America, Argentina, Colorado, UK. Chips, yeah. Some chips. Canada, Cali, Michigan. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Osmus now with the pair on the button. Of course, everyone gets a pair on the button. We had kings, then sevens, now eights. Oof. Ten seconds. <laughs> the Shannon Shore one. <laughs> Two hands. Decent amount Two goes hundred. into the middle. Nothing doing for Little or Hendrix. And Brent, step aside for just a brief moment as we oh, do have yep. Eric Hold Seidel on. Let me take out the headset. The Hold on a minute. Yep. Or, or just as well, well, Eric, thank you again for joining us. I mean, you started off this U.S. Poker Open with two fifth-place finishes. How would you evaluate your series so far? Well, uh, you know, like, oh God. pretty no happy bank. about it. He's always running out of time bank. Just so. <laughs> Probably should have had a little more yogurt in the morning. I'm always mm. pushing like the, uh, you know, the run just seconds, isn't there. 29 seconds. Yeah. This interview brought to you by Global Poker, Free Poker just. at its best. Eric, we're going to send you off to the Big Bet Mix. Thank you again so much more. for the time. Appreciate it. You really don't want to have me in here for very long, huh? Well, no, I, like I mean, my, I just want to send you out to like the action. That's final table. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, thank you again, Eric. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jeff. That was great. So, yeah, Eric, wow. He, he, Eric stepped, he comes in here just, every yeah. single show. Huh? Whenever it. he makes a just final a table, act. he's here. Great guy. All right. Little says effectively all of it on the button. A little more intriguing considering Hendrix does have more than 30 bigs. These five suited. It's never good when you call. But no, it's Shannon, not. it's okay. It's very good for me usually <laughs> when I call. <but>. Yeah. <laughs> Very unlikely. It's a bit of a bit of a sweat. 
true. We'll start tanking. Hendrix could more wake up yeah, with the absolute run. best. Yeah. You can see if I get a look at our schedule. That makes my range way weaker. Yeah. Big bet mix going on right now. Then we're back to no limit, which means they bring one six Jeremy, Brent right? and I back into the broadcast booth because three, the eight game one, we certainly four, could not five. handle. I can't name one, seven four, of the eight <laughs> games. <laughs> name the games. <clears throat> And I think an opportunity, yeah, Hendricks, he's going to open it up. Arsenal all in, attacking Shannon Shore and Jeremy Osmus, who are our two short stacks. Sorry for the basic pitch. Goes fold, fold. Adam Hendricks takes down that pod. Hendricks won the 10K PLO at the Poker Masters last year as we look at his bio board presented by GPI THM. Brent, you said it. The leader on the all-time money list out of the great state of Alaska. Mm -hmm. it his best year ever in 2021, as that graphic notated. He spent a lot of time inside our studio okay. playing a bunch of the majors. I would expect much of the same here in 2022. He's coming on strong, no, as is Shannon Shore. From all the bus stops. Shore with the ace nine of hearts on the button. 700. Raise to 700. For most of it. Fold, fold. I'm a huge fan of the, the Shannon Shore hat collection. Just there are all these like, sort of retro no, dad hats that yeah, barely fit the right <laughs> way. And no, a little floppy. Oh. I like your, uh, your I love that. So much better. Sure. I just thought you had a better hand than last time. <laughs> Shore told us he was absolutely thrilled to win event number one. He was a little nervous when he lost that big chip lead against Ren Lin, but you thought he played just outstanding poker. Jeff, of all the shows we've done, and I'll get back to this in a moment, because I, I do believe, yet again, another button essential all-in is coming. <clears throat> well, let's see how this unfolds. Osmus has 16 big blinds. He is our shortest stack. Up against Jonathan Little, our chip leader in the small blind, and Adam Hendricks, who's second in chips in the big. Ooh, and he thinks his hand perhaps a bit too good. There we so go. going to raise it to 175,000. And he is trying to induce or get a little action. And he may Hendricks just get that. Does look down at an ace. This is interesting. If Hendricks thinks Osmus is just trying to get one through, a bit of a steal. He may give him the pile driver with a very bad ace, and Osmus would be in great shape. Ten seconds. Four hundred. Four hundred. Going to go with the small non-all-in three bet to uh, four hundred thousand. This is really, 000. really good stuff by the Alaskan. It, it now gives him the opportunity to get away from the hand. Yeah. If Jeremy Osmus goes ahead and shoves Ace Jack suited, which we expect he will, Hendricks can fold. This is beautiful stuff. If you're gonna lose a hand, lose it this way. Time expansion. Osmus will owe a time bank for an additional 30 seconds to act. All, in. all of it. And there's the fold. Bad read. <coughs> but Brent, you said it. How many uh, times do we just think that there are only four two off. options, so shove or call? Like and right. Picks the one in I the mean, middle. Uh, think about that, folks. Yeah. You're tuning in at home. You're watching she that. Huh? We've all made that like, yeah. mistake. Oops. <laughs> we just put the guy all in. We thought he was opening on the off, button yeah. light. <laughs> yeah, Osmus only had 16 big blinds, but those are oh so critical when the shorts are this stack. Time now for the crew member of the day. Day one, Hayes Chestnut. Day oh two, boy. Dave King. And day three, Brent Hanks, the trophy handler. It, he almost crushed that trophy. I almost ruined Sent the, the, the eagle big bird, into the, the into golden the wall. eagle. How about that? That's the first thing I've won in about a decade, Jeff. But you didn't crew win. member of the day. Oh, oh, cr oh crew member of the day. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Well, we didn't have video of any of the other crew members who would be a bit more deserving of the Thank title. Thank you, by the way, for not attacking my dyslexic moment right before my big award. Yeah, I, I, I reverse short and stack. 
Oh, wow. Oh, as I, I was speaking, I was, it was very embarrassing. Was We're so live, in, you know. I don't have a yeah. chance to go back and edit That's that. That's true. Not the first time I've said something terribly. <laughs> blind versus blind. Hendricks will choose small raise with the ace king of clubs. Sure, I don't think it's given. Yeah, I was a little, a little concerned. We were about to see some crazy Good maniacal time. three bet, but maybe sometimes consider playing it, defense with queen four off. But I'm playing poker, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Can't make it too easy for you. See the empty seats at Nidus Udornpim and Eric Seidel. Yeah, and I want to get back to Shannon Jeff. I, we got cut off yeah, by I another all-in moment, so. but what we saw in event number yeah, one, down to like 10. Shannon Shore, the adversity, the they skill set on full display of all the yeah, shows can, you and I have covered over the years. I really believe that that Shannon Shore <laughs> performance in event number one, that's a top three. Wow. That's a top three performance that, that we have covered. It, it truly was spectacular to watch this guy make every decision. He batted 100%, never faltered, he did not have the best card distribution, and he found a way to get it done. Little opens with the five deuce of clubs. Applying that pressure. Osmus, the jack three of diamonds and the big blind. And I'll just lay it down. Power of the big yeah, like stack. 1.8? Yeah. Uh, 1.7. I should have called. <laughs> <laughs> Storm X is the exclusive cryptocurrency partner. <laughs> Poker Go. Happy to have them on board. Awesome. <laughs> already regretting his fold of the Jack story, three suited man. in the big. True story. Should have called. Made a read, you know? Or just wasn't feeling it. I don't know, I'm tired. East deuce Sometimes off for sure. Huh? This final table is just tired a lot. A little bit yeah, more than 15 bigs. That's my problem with them anyway. I don't make very many, so I don't have much experience to know that. <laughs> you don't play many of them. It's true. The, <laughs> your, your, your final table percentage is pretty good, I think. <laughs> sure, going to min raise button versus ripping it. Little with ace deuce. Oh, this is fascinating. I wonder if Shore is considering min raising and folding the ace deuce, and he is very quickly. Should have done that versus Jeremy. I think there's a time where he would just open rip that hand for 15 bigs as the short stack here, but he took the low variance approach. Jonathan Little just pounced with ace high. Little with more than half the chips in play. Looking for his first win on the PGT. 14 career titles, nine second place finishes. Throughout the impressive career of Jonathan Little. Has two scores of more than $1 million. Both those scores came within 17 months of each other. Nice couple years in that 2007 to 2008 range. Cool. Yeah, there was a while where I mean, Jonathan Little was just on fire. Every every big event, he was there. He was running deep. You mentioned two WPT titles along the way. He does not have a piece of hardware at the World Series mm. of Poker. He is a zero bracelet winner. He's one of those names. 250. That, that comes up from time and time again. You consider how long he has been grinding. It's embarrassing. To not have a bracelet, it's, it's sort of shocking, to be honest. Best he's done at the World Series is third. He has two third place finishes at the WSOP. And another guy on that list happens to be at this final table as well, and it is Shannon Shore. Yeah. Who I believe 
when he is 40 will be no, no, up no for shot. consideration no for the Hall of Fame. <laughs> no shot. If he adds a bracelet to that resume, time. he will be 100% right, in. That. Last time when I folded to the shot. <laughs> Shore has two second place finishes at the series. A couple thirds as well. Jeremy Osmus has three bracelets. 160. Hendricks just had to lay down the fives yeah, in the small bind. Exactly, because of Shore, he's so sh he's so short. It's kind of hard to say back to back. Shore is short. Shore is short. Yeah, that'll get you, Jeff. Shore is short, and yeah, that's the king nine. Uh huh. And he knows that Jonathan Little is opening pretty much a hundred percent of hands here on the button. Rather than ripping it. Let's just PLC three, feel better about it, post flop, and look at this. Ooh, it comes queen 10 five, so Shore has the gutter and the backdoor flush draw while Little flops top pair. Be trouble for Shore. And little fires 125K. Little with a little bet, trying to induce Shannon Shore, who's got that gutter and those three shovels to the Royal. Power of King High as well. You see the equity still 31%. Yeah. If he thinks that Shore can just be empty here, excuse me, if Little can just be empty here on the flop, maybe considers check jamming. And instead, he loves the price. He's going to take another route, Jeff. And I, I love this. Yeah. This is creative, even if we don't get there. A lot of good turn cards for Shore. That not one of them. And in right. fact, it makes. Little's hand even better. He's and let's hypothetically and imagine that Jonathan Little had a hand like uh, seven do something that doesn't have a pair, no pair, no draw. If this street right here on the turn were to go check, check, Shannon Shore can absolutely check, check. win the pot on various rivers yeah. with just King High. Whether we get to showdown with King oh, High or uh, more likely we simply would bet. And you can see even now he's thinking, oh boy, I just have to fold, unfortunate. But he gave himself, again, an opportunity to win the pot the without committing his stack. Empowering. Make the top pair, what are you gonna do, you know? I don't know, man. Put my money in. They just shoved flop. Could, probably should have, would have got called. Look at the format for event number three. 40 minute levels allowed up to sure three bullets in total. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you have? About him having top pair? Or about you should fold. Just how I play. Chance like flop and free You're not going to believe it, but I had two pair on that hand. Oh my God. You would not believe it. All right, I like how I played my hand. I, I almost <laughs> should not have a jam turn. I really like how you just like leave me a few hundred K. Little goes blast off mode Shannon with the ace. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Bet half your stack, right? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Get a call you in position. Wow, Robin. That's a big bet. About to draw for him. Yes, it is. <laughs> and Jack Nine is. Should size that bet out there? It's a big one. <laughs> All right, Adam. So Jeremy really wanted to play from the big blind, but can't do it at that price. Oh, she's going to draw him. Two hands. All right. Wow, that seems a little bit rigged to not let us draw for the. For the I, I'm fine with it. Just a reminder <laughs> at our latest rule change on the How PGT. The world do we know that's fair? I'm when there are yeah, five it, minutes it really left are. in every the time. level, our tournament line. director, Changes Paul Campbell, yeah. actually every time, <laughs> we'll draw a number one through four, and that will dictate how many hands we play before that level goes up. This is to prevent clock <laughs> manipulation. Players wanting the button in certain spots, wanting other players to have the big blind in certain spots. That goes away with this rule. Shore has queen ten on the button, less than ten bigs. Four seventy-five. Most of it. Osmus with two tens in the small blinds. Has to go through the song and dance with little still in the hand. All in. All of it. This is Little why, has ace eight. This is why Jeremy Osmus took some acting classes. Yeah. Osmus a try little and much. Sell it. And here we go, Shannon Shore. I thought we might get the call fold. 
All in and at risk with Call the Queen 10 there. against Jeremy's 210. Have the ace. He paused a while. They're like, I have the ace. What can I have the ace? Man, so happy to see what can, ace? Have? What can like, these guys have? <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Jeremy's just always all in, too. Like, yeah. Got a call. Yeah, yeah. Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> sure. Oh, no. No, Lady Gaga. Needing that queen. Oh, my gosh. We could have been Isn't heads that? up. Brutal. Too bad. You're going to regret that one for a long time, I think. Folding the, folding the ace. Ace of spades, Back even? Backdoor Broadway draw. I think so. For sure, but for now, needing a queen doesn't find it on the turn. Can the event one winner get there on the river? He cannot. That does it for Shannon Shore. Out in fourth, eighty-eight thousand dollars, eighty-eight more points in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. Quite the start to the series for Shannon. That it is. I know he's disappointed yeah, with fourth, but those 88 blind. points uh, yes. could be Shannon critical come crunch time one. as we oh play gosh, down for that Golden better. Eagle yeah, Trophy. And we know Shannon Shore is in contention. Jeff, you mentioned he's yeah. playing the 25K yeah. and the 50K one main event. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah you'd have jammed. I would have called. Or something. Wow. Or whatever. Yeah. Or a lamp. 302 points now for sure. Yeah, sure. Race for the series championship. Is like 2 4 now or something? So I have one. I tell you what, Osmus is going to be a real threat to win back to back two, majors three, okay, on the point, PGT. Three, well, already a podium finish oh, as yeah. we've three, reached three, our down. final three here. Uh, he and Hendricks are neck and neck uh -oh, with very similar stacks. Comes. Everyone three looking comes. up at Jonathan Little. 240. Who raises here out of the small blind with the 7 4 off. King Deuce for Hendricks and 30 bigs. I just get happy when I get to play a hand, you know? It's such hey, you've been very happy an today, honor man. to get to play hands. <laughs> All right. Are we on a break? You're at Paul Campbell, minutes, not a real okay, break, so we'll keep it here. So we got a fake break. All right. <laughs> fake break. But we're not going it's anywhere. Not Just a these real guys one. get to take one. I think we should take a look at the leaderboard. What Let's do, you do that. Right. Let's pull it up, Jeff. Hit that button. Hit right the there. button. Yeah. Hit the music. This leaderboard is presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. Jonathan Little, almost 6.4 million in chips. Osmus and Hendricks about neck and neck for second place. And Brent, this creates a... A real interesting dynamic with about a 44k pay jump. From yeah, to I would expect Jonathan Little to, to really attack these guys and forced Osmus and Hendricks to make brutal decisions for go, their Mattis. tournament lives. A lot of ICM pressure on the line. The beautiful walk-in shots. Hey, Eric Seidel, the nod is. to the camera. On his way he to the booth, it. huh? Scott Seaver accompanying Jeremy Osmus. Jonathan Little, coffee in hand. There we go. Says good morning. Yeah. Let's do this. He's ready. Look at the payouts. Our oh. final three guaranteed. One hundred five thousand six hundred dollars. Absolutely. Now all of a sudden we hit the old uh, disco club. Oh, Want to keep you on your toes. Right. Wow. Up top, more than two hundred eleven thousand dollars. I got the bell bottoms on and that hoodie Nidus was Rock. wearing. I'm out there in the middle underneath that that beautiful. Some Saturday dance night fever. Floor. Yeah. You could say oh. on a Saturday. 10K Big Bet Mix is underway. Chino Reams there, Daniel Negreanu, Jake Daniels, Scott Siever, Stephen Chidwick, Dylan Weissman, Kristen Nyman. We got Ali Amshurovich in the mix. Max Coleman is there. Look at Negreanu. He's eating. I'm telling you, Alex he eats Livingston. just as much as Phil he, he Helmut really does, does at just, the table. It's just the healthier it's version. Much healthier, yeah. yeah. It's just slightly healthier. And there's the look. At the 2018 U.S. Poker Open champion, Stephen Chidwick, who has arrived. He was in Prague for that EPT stop. But when Chidwick's here, look out. Yeah, he is always a force. Just a matter of time before we see him at a final table. What would you set the line at? How many final tables at the USPO will Chidwick make? I think you make the line one and a half. One and a half? Yeah. I'll take the over. You'll take the yeah, over? Yeah, book it. All right, we're booked. We are booked. There you see it. Chidwick landed that eagle in 2018, and then it was David Peters 
back to back. But Brent, we have not seen Peters yet in 2022. I don't think we will, oh. except for the 25K and the 50K. I think he's just going to play the two big ones and call it a series. He is focused on other business ventures in his life. Back to Chidwick. I believe they're on no limit hold on. This is a game we can handle. This is the only game we can handle out of the big bet mix with no limit. Pot limit Omaha induced to seven, single draw. There's that classic just stare down. He's even staring down the cards in the middle of the table. It's so intimidating. I'm almost intimidated to even broadcast his hands. By the way, I think I saw Chino Reem back there. Chino Reem is there. Yeah. Six and change. Six and change. Yeah. Let's get Chino in a final table. We'll see some, see some gambling going on. Chino, Sean Perry. Who else would we want there just to, to light it up? I would like Nidus. Yeah. Oh, Nidus. Yeah. Get him in the mix. And you guys got like two and a half? Helmuth. Two point something? Two, um, two, three. Did not see Helmuth in the Big Ben mix. Bit of a surprise. Although, I don't know. If he doesn't play PLO, great. Which, that's the rumor well, on the street. Well, that's what you say. Right? Well, I'm just that's saying that's Bill the says. word on the street. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at our seating chart for event number three. Shore out in fourth. Seidel out in fifth. Nidus eliminated in sixth place. That leaves Jonathan Little, Adam Hendricks, and Jeremy Osmus. Osmus and Hendricks with some work to do. Cards are back in the air. We have raised the blinds. 50K, 100K. It's 50, 100 now? Yeah. Yes, it is. We are playing some poker. We're playing 100 K. poker, man. Big blind ante. 200, okay. 200,000. Osmus has the check three suited again in the big blind. Slightly different circumstances in this scenario. Uh, he can play sort of some normal poker here. You're getting an all right price for the jack three suited. Still understanding that Jonathan Little should be opening pretty close to 100% of hands on the button. King, queen, four with one club. So a couple back door draws for Osmus while Little flops top pair again. Well, he is smashing flops even when he does open these, these trash bag hands on the button. That makes winning tournaments quite easy. Little looking for his first tournament win since 2019. Yeah, look at Osmus. He's wondering with that three to a straight backdoor club, understanding that Little should be opening close to 100% of hands. Is there any way that we could check raise? And he, he opts out. Jonathan Little lives in New York City from Florida originally. You see the level move up on the wall behind our players. <laughs> Little's last tournament cash came at the U.S. Mm -hmm. Poker Open in 2021. He finished in fourth in the 50K. Chip denominations presented by StormX. Purples are 25K a piece. The Bumblebee is worth 100,000 each. Osmus the 9-7 off. He'll limp in. Little has the jack seven of diamonds. He'll check. We'll see three. Ten, six, five, one diamond. Got her for Osmus. The back door draws for Little. Would not expect Osmus to simply just check fold to a stab from Jonathan Little. Not with a gut shot. What could very well likely be two live cards as well. What is the best approach? He gets a fine price. And it sets up that possible dynamic 
Jeff, if it was a brick on the turn that could go check, check, Ausmus could try and steal it on a later street on the river out of position. However, this is a beautiful ticket for Little. As he does turn the flush draw. Four to a flush, and now wondering, if I'm up against the pair, if Jeremy has a 10, six, or five, what is optimal? Can I blow him off a six or a five with a second shell with an added flush draw? You're never getting a fold from a 10. That's just beautiful mm -hmm. stuff. Little goes bet, bet, gets it done, jack high. No way. Yeah, true. Very <laughs> true. Four diamonds. We see Eric Seidel has jumped into the big bet mix. Right over Little's left shoulder. Cough, super coffee in hand. 2-1. I see Scott Seaver. We saw the walk-in with Ausmus mm. earlier, yeah. too. I would the love to have Scott right? Seaver yeah. on the final yeah. table. Yeah. yeah, all right. 2-1's like 21. Seaver ran deep in this event. He finished in 12th Maybe. for $17,600. It's been too long since we've had Seaver at a final yeah. table. He it's loves good to, to see chat him in the studio. I'm walking 30 big blinds. This starts to mess with me a little yeah, bit. I don't really know what to do. Michael Lang Easy. made the money in 13th. Seaver in 12th. Alex Foxen eliminated Oof. in 11th. His second. Very pretty card first. Wow. Cash of the USPO. Benjamin Miner out in 10th. Sean Perry flip, you know. eliminated in 9th for 35K. Seth Davies, Busto in 8th. Roque Gostisha out on our TV final table bubble. Jonathan Little with that walk there. He is now at peak up for the day, 7.1 million. You saw that graphic, 65% of the chips in play. Woo. And he has the ace jack of hearts here. Opens to 200K. Hendricks with the queen 10 suited and the small blind off 20 bigs. There was a time where if you suspected a guy was light on the button, you would simply just grip and rip 20 big blinds. Now we have these ICM considerations, different avenues that we can travel. I think Queen 10 suited. Uh, he's going to commit uh, yeah, himself, it looks like. It. Wow. I thought there was a chance he all may in. just call. There we go. And Adam Hendricks will be all in and at risk Ooh. in what is Air a flip. sizable pot. Hendricks with the queen ten of clubs, little I with the ace jack of hearts. No cards that interfere with your hands. I appreciate that. <laughs> Still fair flip then. Maybe I had a club. It's a more than forty big blind pot. We just looked at it like half a second ago. Yeah, I don't know. Eight nine I had. I know that much. Mm. <laughs> Off suit. Eight nine. That's good for me though, because blocks straights. It's true. Hendricks on his feet, awaiting the run out. Be very close to Little. He found a way here. It's a 40 60 dog. Little's been in absolute cruise control so far. That continues on this 8 5 5 flop with no clubs. I didn't even realize they put the board up there. That's kind of cool. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. The oh, turn is cool. the 10. That's not the real board over there. That's something different. Yeah, that's a fake board up. <laughs> yeah. That's a nine. And now it's Little looking for help, needing an ace or a jack on the river to bust Hendricks. It's the nine. nine, and it is game on, ladies and gentlemen. All along the watch. Here comes Hendricks, Jeff. Take a seat. Number one in Alaska in the best vest in the studio. <laughs> He's up to 4.3 million in chips. Looking for a second Poker Go Major Series Tournament title. Could have probably phrased that one a bit better, but he won the 10K PLO at the Poker Masters last year. You see his biggest career live score, almost 400K, coming at EPT Barcelona in 2019. When he finished in second place in the national event. Well, this makes things a little you bit easier, believe it or not, for Osmus as far as decisions through, yeah. are concerned. He is the ultimate yeah, short was stack. <laughs> it was. So it's scary. almost a relief when you have the opportunity to gamble <laughs> and just get it in. It, yeah. Of course, you're hoping that the two you're like an extra chip leaders can dollars or something in your pocket. Get into yeah, an all-in confrontation yeah. and ladder up that so, way. So but did I. I think I have more than that problem. It's quite rare. Yeah. It all went to you. Brutal. 
$44,000 pay jump from third to second. <laughs> Hendrix becomes a real threat. And just like that, you said it, a real threat and already opening 9-8 off. He has the opportunity to go after Jonathan Little. <clears throat> but it's a couple of sailboats. For the most beautiful man in poker, Mr. Osmus. Oh, he sees the opportunity here to get the chips in. I'll just get through. I got excited. Yeah, Hendrix was able to play a somewhat normal pot. And then lost my shelves. Now, I've made an observation, Jeff, and I think yes. you'll be mightily impressed. Can't wait. Jeremy Osmus and Stephen Chidwick have on the exact same sweater hoodie. Oh. The exact same? I think it's, well, If it, it's very similar. I don't know if we're going to get another look at Chidwick, but I'm telling you right now, you review the tape. Okay. Go back, check yeah. out Chitty Chitty Bang Bang's hoodie, and uh, hmm. <laughs> Mr. Osmus, they are, they're sharing hoodies, sweater hoodies. Okay. I'll keep it in mind. I'm not 100% I'm not sold on the observation yet. Looks like I'm comfortable. What do you call it? Look at look at Chitty. That's not the same. It, look, it is it's the same. The it's same. just there's about no, there's no the way lighting. It's the same. Yeah, it is. It's a sweater hoodie. You think it's the lighting they that's changing it, a, it that they drastically? They call it a swooty. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. Different color, same brand, I believe. And how about this on the 10-9-4 flop, where both flop top pair blind versus uh, blind. Oh. It's Little leading for 200K. Uh, there will be blood. And now Ausmus has the opportunity to just sit back, relax, and watch these two fight. Top pair versus top pair. We saw Ausmus fold king eight on the button, letting our two biggest short chip stacks do battle. Queen ball on at the turn. It's top two pair for Hendricks. Little does turn a gutter to go along with his pair of tens. It's not exactly the turn card that's going to that Little would consider folding right. in the event of more aggression on the turn from Hendricks, which you can see what he's going to do. He's going to continue to bet. This lead for 300,000. It's not a great card for Little. Uh, it, it does. I, I'm worried about that, that queen, right, given the sorts of hands that would come along for the ride to the turn, uh, you know, Queen Jack would make sense. There's, I'm not sure what this accomplishes other than you're hoping to, to get there on the river. Now, ultimately, we are gonna face a decision with more chips in the middle than you like. I'm not saying that Little would have folded the turn if mm -hmm. Hendricks were to bet top two, which certainly would have happened. Checks here on the river, and how much does Hendricks look for with 1.3 million in the pot? A 7 8 comes home. Obviously, the back door flush comes home. Little does not have a diamond in his hand. And Hendricks having that 10 of diamonds in his hand is a very key card as he can eliminate Jonathan Little from going back door 10x of diamonds. He knows that Queen 10 is the absolute truth. How much is the question? Nine hundred thousand is the answer. Diamond in Little's hand does have an eight. And I really think if Little would have simply checked the turn here, he could have check called and found an easier check fold by the river as everything comes home. He would have been saved by the deck. Does make the call. Hendricks gets paid off. Hendricks takes the chip lead. And that is a dagger for Little as he has now chopped down to 33 big blinds, down to 3.4 million or so. Yeah, very good. That's true. I added 10 to him. 
Osmus perhaps wanting chaos between these two. He found it. And Hendrix has found the chip lead. Hendricks entered this final table sixth with six left. Thanks. Now he has more than half the chips in play. form there now feeling it now has some momentum Zenny I wear for everyone a presenting sponsor of <coughs> the US Poker Open I've been wearing my Hanks. Zennies for well over a year now yeah so I love these glasses great. they really they are great. great they look sharp Hendricks just has that look, doesn't he? There's something about him. He is uh, he is poised, dialed in. Clearly feeling it right now. Little will defend with the 10-9. These two will tango once again. Queen 10-5. One club, couple backdoor draws for Hendricks. Little has popped a pair of 10s and a backdoor straight draw. If Hendricks does decide to bet, he clearly is hoping to pick up a little relief on the turn, something that we can two-barrel with in an attempt to target middle or bottom pair. And there's that down bet, which we have come to know and love over the last couple of years. Smaller bet sizing on the flop than what he even raised to pre-flop. And there is that backdoor love. Puppy paws coming home. Good turn card that perhaps opens the door once again for Hendricks. 850K in this pot. And Hendricks now soaking it in. He, he's trying to question how often and how much should we be betting on the turn if we're up against some sort of 10, a 5. There are various draws that would be check folding as well. And he's going meat, yeah, potatoes. Sizing up here. A hearty meal with a pot size bet after turning the flush draw. And this just puts a 10 right in jail. Little in a horrible spot. He is going to be guessing right here and again on the river. Yeah, if you're in little shoes, you have to assume the river it, fire is on the way as these well. These are the most least desirable spots yeah. in all of poker. You you just you're crumbled inside. All in. Wow, the check Whoa. shove by Little. Oh my gosh, I, I mean, that's that's something else you right there. You don't have to deal right? with a river decision oh. with that round. Uh, you just guess and get lucky, I guess, for Mr. Little shuts it down. I'm not sure if you're getting called in that spot, you're, you're in rough shape. Better hands call, worse hands fold. Yeah, although it works whenever your opponent turns exactly that draw, sort yeah, of hand. A, a flush draw with mm -hmm. no other equity. <laughs> <laughs> and now Little and Hendricks tied for the chip lead. Back and forth we go. And event number three of the U.S. Poker Open. And yeah, maybe diagnose that perfectly, that the big bet on the turn did represent a draw. And came with the heat. I'll tell you what, Jeff, if you own a coaching site yeah, and you make those plays, yeah. well, then you must be doing it right. <laughs> uh, it's literally how he Good business pays model. the bills. Relax he he plays poker for a living, and he runs 
a oh, huge bro. poker coaching website. It, it, it must be right. He has taken the chip lead back. Can't help it. Yeah, I know. I can. I can tell. Awesome is thinking. Okay, guys, I know I wanted the big pots, but I didn't want the back and forth. You haven't been crushed enough. You're still optimistic. Huh? You're, you haven't been crushed enough yet. You're too young. It's true. <laughs> still have dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Your dreams are gone by now, huh? Yeah, long gone. <laughs> Need some water after that check jam, huh? Woo! Woo! Awesome. That was, that, was nice snap. that was an optimistic one. <laughs> Started the hand with 18 Put me bigs. To the test, you know? Guessing it all goes in here. All in. All of it. <clears throat> We've seen this before from Osmus, where he kind of lurks throughout the whole final table. Right. Doesn't get involved in many big pots, and all of a sudden he's heads up for a title. Well, he did this during the uh, during the fall at the World Series of Poker yeah. with Daniel Negreanu yeah. and Phil Hellman. Sure, they were sure three ways for that. Uh, I think it was the 50K test. Pot yeah, Limit Omaha yeah. Championship. Yeah, you, you have plenty of outs. Everyone, of course. <laughs> no was oh, yeah, no outs. Cheering yeah. Daniel yeah. Hellmuth, but it was Osmus who I came out that. on top, and <laughs> he really did outplay both of those guys to bring that sucker home. Yeah, he is no familiar. <laughs> Jeff, to your point, with exactly this sort of dynamic. I need at least a king or something, you know? There's king four for Little. And once again, it'll be Little versus Hendricks. Check. Eight, eight, six. Check, check. Got to love the reaction to our Eric Seidel video. Why, what happened, On Twitter, Jeff? where yeah. you can follow us, at PokerGo. Is that Buffalo Hanks? I'm at Jeff Platt. Uh, from WPT says, Jeff Platt just shut down Eric Seidel in the interview. Why even invite him? Well, that's fair. Wait, just from, one from, question the, and from the World Poker Tour? No, WTP, not oh, WPT. Oh, I thought you said WPT. No, WTP. Uh, that, that's awfully yeah. rude. Well, he thought I was rude. Wow. Just shut it down. I mean, I love when Eric joins us in the booth. Question, question and answer. I didn't want it's to take up too famer, much of his time. It's a Hall of Famer. Iconic. Yeah. You, you don't ever really get much out of Eric, and he takes all that time out of out of the day to come sit with us I for a moment. It. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, this is also good. I love this comment, YouTube, by the way. Thank you all so much for yeah. tuning in. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Subscribe yep. if you haven't already. Many we players. have to hit 1,000 thumbs try. up or there will not be a free stream tomorrow. Rules, Keep on clicking. And this is from Raditz. The rules These are my favorite drive, types Hanks. of messages. It says, Hanks has that kind of voice uh, which resembles right. a rusty right. nail shoved right. in my ear. <laughs> That's good. That's uh, we do good. welcome the creative trolling yeah. on the YouTube chat. If it's not well creative, played. if it's just like, oh, you guys suck, we don't like it. Osmus with pocket threes on the button in 20 bigs. And this is just such a brutal hand for, for Osmus, right? It, it, you may be wondering, why would he ever fold a pair three-way on the button with 20 bigs? Just go all in. It, yeah, you could. It's either all in or fold. And clearly he knew that Hendricks had aces wow. in the big blind. Holy cow. The spidey senses and decision-making wow. by Osmus. Hendricks will make it 300K with the aces. Little makes the call. Queen Jack seven, Little finds a little piece. Yeah, and that little piece could lead to a lot of problems 
he's just not going to be done with it, I don't think, having connected in some way, shape, or form, understanding that Hendricks in position, if he's an aggressive player, could be trying to push him around a little bit. Does size up a little bit, goes half pot. Yeah, maybe the sizing could get him off of this, considering the wet texture. But we have seen Not little. Yet. He has been awfully splashy today. Four of spades on the turn. 1.4 million in this pot. Fires, little folds. Hendricks extends his chip lead. Yeah, notice the sizing there too. It was very similar for, for the time that he that he did that with a flush draw with a semi bluff. He, he, he's so balanced. He did the same thing with a value hand, hoping to snap off Jonathan Little. Hmm. Seidel, Udorn, Pim, and Shore, the ones who have been eliminated thus far. That leads Little, Hendricks, and Austinus battling for a first place prize of more than $210,000. Event number three, final table coverage at the U.S. Poker Open. 88 entries, creating a prize pool of $888,000. 11 million chips in play, Hendricks has about half. Little limps in on the button now. Little's trying to mix it up. Doesn't raise this time, just limps in. And again, Flop's top pair on the button. Pretty good hand. Queen nine. I'm not necessarily certain why he altered the strategy, perhaps dipping below the 40 big blind mark. But Queen 10's a very good hand. Doesn't matter, gets it done. Queen 10, yeah. Queen 10 run, is running Queen hot. Queen 10s are like out there. You got to put it in. Queen yeah, and 10. Yeah, you really do. It's crazy. Every board. why I limp the queen three on the button, you know, because I know the queen's going to come yeah. at least. Wow, queen three. Yeah. <laughs> Playing the game. <laughs> a little better than that. Yeah, you want to trap with it. Yeah, I got to trap with the queen three. Go on. Got to keep Jeremy in. Yeah, somehow. I really want you in. Hendricks opens here on the button. Little has 10-8 in the big blind. No surprise to any of us. It's Little versus Hendricks once again. Yeah, back and forth. These two have been slugging it out. Hendricks has gotten the better of Little thus far. Check. It's the door open to do the same here. Hendricks thinks so, small bet and a win for Adam Hendricks. No queen three. I, mean, I should have lumped. Yeah. Really got him. USPO presented in part by Tequila Comisario. Ultra premium. Might have some tequila this weekend. I was just, you know, Jeff, you and I have the day oh, off tomorrow. Are you thinking about. Maybe having a little tonight and tomorrow during some ball games? Perhaps, yeah. Yeah? We got some ball games you're very interested in Oh, tomorrow. very, yeah. We're going to boil her up. And then, of yeah. course, my beloved Bonnies, they're going to battle it out in Oklahoma for uh, round two in the NIT. You have very graciously, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, on, and invited know, like me to your place for the games. Of hands. course. Like, you're always but, uh, invited. But I don't know. You know, with NIT game on the big screen, all due respect. No, 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 listen, here in, in my household, <laughs> yeah. uh, I know Liz, my wife's household, yeah. 
if if you please Purdue is in the NCAA <laughs> tournament, stop seeing the flop with these junky hands. That is going to be on the big screen. Primary. We're watching the NCAA <laughs> on the big screen. The I'll back probably back have my back. phone for for the Bonnies game. Actually, that's not true. I'll have a side TV. Five, yeah, one point okay. six five. That's how I'll have my beloved Bonnies on. Well, in that case, maybe I'll with bring us. some donuts and we'll watch some hoops. Yeah. You better. All in. I'll throw some stuff in the smoker. Another all in. Speaking of getting smoked. Trying to throw oh, off right those threes middle, again. Yeah. You ever had smoked crab? Because that's what's going to happen here. Osmus, a couple of crabs. I don't know if he's going to call. 17 bigs. That is a pretty three and a half. Good. A little bit. Size stack. More. Yes, Hendricks can be shoving. You know, queen deuce, queen three suited. King deuce, king three suited. Ace deuce, ace three. We have those hands in trouble. I can't forget about pocket mallards, of course. Two deuces we're out in front of. There are a variety of hands where we're in fine enough shape. Osmus now trying to understand sort of the stack dynamic as well. Is he so short that he just simply has to call here with a pair? Understanding and he's 50 -50. There it is. make the call. Here we go. Osmus all in and at risk with the threes. Hendricks on his feet with the 7 5 of hearts. Where's the twos at, man? Where's your twos at? No, no, no. <laughs> Limp. Limp fold. Hendricks, if he wins this, would take about a 2 to 1 chip lead into heads up play. If he loses, it's back to neck and neck for the chip lead with Jonathan Little. And we see a three in the window. Okay. Now there is Good a six flop. behind it. So not all hope is lost for Hendricks. But he is down to four outs. Oh, eight on the turn. A too many outs for my now the open ender life. for Hendricks. You see the nine outs. I'm sorry, eight outs available to him on the top of your screen, which include a nine and a four. The river is a deuce. And Brent, this is what Jeremy Osmus does. That's, uh, you just you can't get rid of him. You know, he, he sticks around. Every decision seems to be correct. I would love to be inside the mind of Osmus there with the two threes, exactly what it was that led him to calling given the situations we were breaking down uh, he had 17 bigs perhaps it was just too good enough of a spot to not take a coin flip at best John. he felt like yeah, he was you. flipping thank at worse thank, <laughs> thank you for giving me a shot i appreciate that said, <laughs> and to your away. point he was really, the shortest really stack by a mile yeah, no real ICM ICM wise, exactly uh, you know and there there is also to consider that hendrix and little have been battling back and forth it, hmm. Oftentimes, if I see that dynamic in the moment happening, I, I might pass in that spot. And of course, it could just be a fluke that they seem to be colliding based on distribution, no doubt. That was uh, clearly great timing and a great decision, no matter what, for Osmus, as he look, is right look at in this. it. Yeah, three horse race now. Hendricks with 4 million, Little about 3.5, Osmus with 3.4. Little will not defend it this time. Roller coaster ride, to say the least, for Adam Hendricks. Hendricks looking for his fourth career title. Had one win and seven caches last year on the PGT. More than 700K in earnings on the tour. Very strong no limit player, very strong pot limit Omaha player as well. Finished ninth in the 10K PLO. Is folding the ace five. He just he keeps getting dealt these very uh, tricky hands uh, off the button. Not staying out of harm's way with raggedy aces. A moment ago it was two threes on the button with 20 big blinds. He just opted to fold when Hendricks had the aces in the big blind. And 
you know, there is clearly a strategy and a rationale for that. I know, boy. I don't think Little can call it off for 30 bigs with King-9 suited, but he has been reckless at times, and he may and be thinking that thinking. Hen oh, yeah, okay. he, he may <laughs> thinks that Hendricks can just be very out of line. No. Aces. Nah, maybe I should have called. Be loose. It'd be loose. No, Jeremy's getting second somehow or first. So <laughs> we're fighting for third. I know. I I fully realize that. Just can't be beat. We were probably about flipping. Maybe you were dominated. Maybe. Yeah. Awesome has had just one cash in last year's USPO. Let's Finish see if seventh, Little just folds the ace mix. five here on the button. I highly doubt I it. He doesn't so, have yeah. it in him. Opens to 200K. Yeah, it just comes with the min raise. There's a world in which you could mix up a limping strategy off the button, which I think Osmus could have done. Rather put in one big blind in position with ace high. Raise and take it for a little. Mm. Little also had just one cash in the 2021 USBO. A series saver, finishing fourth in the 50K main for more than $230,000. There's the pay jump. From third to second, it's $44,000. Up top in this one, 211K. Great, 200,000. Little finds the ace five off again, this time in the big blind. He'll defend. Queen six deuce. Ace high still best. Very dry tone. Hendricks sets it up with a little down bet. Hopes to pick up a pair or equity on the turn where we can target again with Little who just continues to fight for hands here. Ace five will peel. That is not a good card for 10-7. And this is very favorable now for Jonathan Little as that doesn't change anything for Adam Hendricks. If he does bet here, extremely aggressive. He'd only be repping some sort of queen. Perhaps That's the now. king opened the door yeah, for Hendricks to that fire. That sort of ticket is definitely in play for Hendricks to be able to represent. The check from Little, 850K in the pot. Will Hendricks go for it here with just 10 high? He will not. He just waves it. Wave the white flag. You heard the voice of tournament director Paul Campbell. Five minutes left in the level means they will draw for remaining hands. Two hands left. Osmus with queen 10 mm. on the button. It's going to use a bigger size yeah. in here, go two and a half X. And perhaps that could be the rationale for folding the ace five off or he He's intending to size it up as these stacks are all hovering between 40 and 30 bigs. If that's a part of his strategy, 
Queen 10 much more playable than Ace 5 off as far as how often we're going to hit the flop or at least have more draws in regards to the texture just like this. Well, Jack 9 deuce does give him the open ender, it does give Hendricks a pair of nines. Ten of hearts in Jeremy's hand as well, which is a very beautiful card to have as we block any of those flush draws from being present from our opponent. And the down bet it's an invitation for middle pair. Come along for the ride. No need to get carried away if you're Hendricks. Ace on the turn. And it, it changes nothing. However, it, it smashes Jeremy's range yeah. more so than Hendricks. This is a, a tremendous card. If he decides to size up or to continue firing and betting with a second shell. Instead, would he also, let's let's say Jeremy did have a hand like ace-10 as he just buries the nuts here on the river as far as straights are concerned. But if he did have a hand like ace-10 and he bet that flop and then hit the turn, he, yeah, th there is a backs. world in which he would check back in hopes that he would open the door for Hendricks to want to A, bluff the river, or B, check and call with a lesser hand. This is an interesting line by Osmus. I really like it. 750,000. There it is. Oh, and it's Hendrix leading for 750K. This is beautiful stuff. Hendrix turning a nine into a bluff on this river. He's hoping that Osmus somehow has an air ball, perhaps folding out a better nine, some sort of jack, or if he would have rivered a king, hoping that he can fold out a king as well. He'll owe a time bank for 30 seconds. Yeah, and Auspice, again, time. why that 10 of hearts was also important, right? We were blocking that from, from Hendrix's range. We know it can't be that sort of flush if we are, in fact, concerned about it. But he is deciding whether he can just move it all in with a straight or if we just need to call for the times that Hendricks did, in fact, have a flush draw. And he's going to go for it. I think he said 2.5. 2.5. Okay, 2.5 million is what the raise is to. Going to go for the max value with the straight. To your point, Brent, the 10 of hearts probably a key cog in his decision. Yeah. You like two fives with the heart? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Hendrix. Pretty silly. Well, oh, this is what. You know, again, uh, you take it to the next level thinking about that check back being so good is Hendricks wondering why why would you have queen checked ten. back a hand mm. like queen, queen 10, ten. Be? <laughs> or Never or a, a, a good <laughs> flush draw, <laughs> some sort of combo draw queen rather than put more money good. in the middle. That was a fascinating hand it on really many was. levels, I think, from both perspectives. Was that? Um, I, I think no, it was no, one. No. We, that was one because I was going to be the big one. They both stalled a lot. I don't know why they did that. We have one more hand at this level. And Brent, we have a new chip leader. His name is Jeremy Osmus. Oh, boy. 4.4 million, which is 44 big blinds. Is he 40? No, he's 42 years old. If he was 44, I was walking out of here. 44% <laughs> of the chips in play. How is there so many fours here, Jeff? I, I don't know. Hendricks, ace nine. On in the third. Hendricks 
limping in and Osmus raising. On. The limp shove from Hendricks. Yeah, 27 bigs, our short stack. I had my this is one huh? heck of a dynamic rivers. given these stack yeah. sizes as the levels, I believe, I are going to be going up play, again honestly. here, Jeff. Hello. I don't know. Two fives? My, my size and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Renly makes an appearance on our final table set just to say what's up to everybody while he's on the phone. Why Touchdown, not? Touchdown, Tom Brady, <laughs> Lady Gaga. Awesome, it's our chip leader. Three players remain. We're going to send our players off to break. Before we go to break, let us take a look at the leaderboard. And it's presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. Osmus on top with four million. Little in second. Hendricks in third. We're three-handed for the title when we return. Stay with us. Presented by Scott. He's, he's got to try to win it. He's got to play everything, though. If only you knew how hard I'm anti-sweating air. <laughs> yeah, what place did you get in the first one? Don't worry, I'm not a threat. <laughs> Two, I don't think 35. So. Two, 35. Sort of like. You had 30 big ones. Top heavy, too. Oh, no, you called. Fuck. Just call it. Just called. Sidel just called, so they will not yeah. reveal the cards sure. just yet. <laughs> okay, then I can get it in good. Let's set out just getting way too good of a price here from the big blind. His blinds have gone up. hand, yeah. 40K, 80K, and 80K big blind ante. Oh. Comes king seven deuce with two hearts, so that's pretty dramatic. It was a huge flop for me. Huge flop for me, too. Oh, my the God. The flush draw against Terrible. the top two pair. Oh. Nidus all in and at risk. Well, the last oh, hand that Nidus wants cool. to wow. see is some sort of flush Good draw. Game. Hoping he's Good game. got lucky We're against the better king. I Here we go, off to the one. races. Yeah? Okay. yeah, it's not a full moon anymore. The sun's out. Yeah. Put his face up there. <laughs> that was a hard. That was a, that's a big play. Uh, a king on the turn oh, will lock it up for slide? Nidus. Yeah, no fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> no fun at all, says Eric Seidel. Seidel now. Wow, second raise on Little the and his line. wife, Amy, have two Killing kids, yourself, James and Thomas. <laughs> Find a weak big blind. You just, who's big blind? Got to try yeah. it. <laughs> wow, you talked him into folding. Yeah, that was it. Strong. King 10 oh, no. coming, baby. for our short stack. <laughs> Tommy does it. All in. No limp. I was hoping no you would have limped your kings again so we could, we could spike on you. Osmus yeah. is here comes seven Jeremy. behind. <laughs> He's Jeremy. probably Double found up. a customer here. <laughs> Osmus with 18 big blinds. This is just ICM madness going on. Seidel with eight bigs. Nidus all in now here with only seven bigs. Keep in mind, Shannon Shore, he has 16 big blinds here. So this does affect Jeremy's decision with two sevens. 18K pay jump from six to fifth. Don't blow a spot, come on. Oh, he learns the flat. Osmus he will make the, the call. <laughs> <laughs> One time, Rockets. Seven. Seven. Classic. I had your seven. Oh my god. Do you? All right. You're really good with offsuit kings too. I, I don't think I'm gonna win this one either though. You got me with king. king <laughs> you tore Ben all in and at risk king now. Jack, with king, king ten Jack against the sevens of Osmus. Like yeah. nobody and plays king high better. Every time you get to a king high, it doubles. It's true. You always had ace high though. <coughs> yeah. Sure. Pair still would have lost. 10, 7, 7. Ace. Seven. Ace. Or 10, what else do I have? Osmus has run pretty well here over the last couple of months. 10, 10, 7. 10, 10, 7. Wow. Doesn't oh run well gosh. on this flop. Uh, it comes 10, 9, 8, 9, 5. 9, 9, 9. You could not have manifested this <laughs> run any harder. <laughs> saying, no, no, you were jinxing me. Yeah. You're jinxing All me right. for sure. No comment. Six of diamonds. As you heard Little saying, as we saw, he did fold a 7. Not feeling so good anymore. <laughs> so two outs Six on top of your like screen. We know there's oh, one seven. Oh, this is going to be seven. I feel it. I feel it zinging. I already feel the pain. The zing is in my heart. The river is a that jack, is and Nidus has found a couple <laughs> double ups. Okay, no zing I here. Nidus back on board. Here we yeah, go. Uh, yeah, it was like, yeah. What's Six that? players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had two caches at the USPO. Shaq. Sean Perry. Alex Fox and Hendricks, really Shore, and Seidel. Damn, I could stop and go. We see Stephen Chidwick has arrived. You see Chidwick in the background. Probably not. Definitely not work. I'm all in again. Little does shove, oh and Nidus <laughs> looks down at the ace-king of okay. clubs. Oh, whatever. Unbelievable. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> what an opportunity Nidus. for Nidus oh. to this keep is, on shooting lose, up. Right? This has to be the one. <laughs> yeah, four big blinds a moment ago. Hopefully. This is the one I lose. Hopefully. <laughs> 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 He's just having a blast. Oh, I appreciate it. So I have no so. idea. I mean, no way oh. losers. Oh, this has to be the one I lose. I just bring such a vibrant I, presence God, to the poker really table. Are. Ace high guy. I've ace never high. seen you lose the all in with the king in your hand. But the, no, the, it, but the ace high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think you got it's it in good king. this time, so you can't win. Yeah, yeah the king is just the, the way flop. Way for you. Yeah. 10 yeah. four deuce yeah. with two clubs. <laughs> all the drama. With two yeah. clubs. Yeah, it's wow. Nah, you don't have clubs. Nah, good, good game. Looking for a club or for a king. Oh my. Doesn't oh, yeah. find it on the turn, but does <laughs> oh, find a couple they're, more they're outs. Oh yeah. boy. Nidus yeah, yeah. on his feet. 15 outs. Is it too many outs, Jeff? A club, a queen, oh. or a king will get the job done for another Sometimes double you up. Know what was there. There's yeah. no chance I was winning this one. Oh, the three of spades on the river. Yeah. How do you brick it? Yeah. And Nidus, the dream is over. Oh. You're fun to play with. Opportunity yeah, yeah. to. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. It's the final table of event number three coming to you from the Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. We are inside the Poker Go studio. Walk on up to the final table with us, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. And Brent, it is anybody's ball game at this point. It really is. I mean, you, you sort of think advantage Osmus based on what we've seen throughout the last hour. Uh, his skill set on display, he's running good, everything going his way, but anything can happen, Jeff. As you see, this leaderboard presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. Osmus on top, a little right there, and Hendrix really right there. We raise the blinds, 75K, 125K. I got lucky too one time, though. I beat the Kings as well, so. With a 125K big blind. We've all been lucky to be here. As, uh, what's the name says, it's all luck. This game's all luck. Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you do have a bracelet, Brent. Just if we're what looking for evidence. Mean, yeah. Yeah. Ace King for Austin. I don't know, Mac. That could be wrong. I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> Less than 90 bigs on the table. Go for it, guys. Don't be shy. Fold if it's really bad. <laughs> you can fold. I won't be offended. That's not going to happen. No, probably not going to fold little. this. Oh. Mine was really bad. And Osmosis was really good. The Poker Go Cup champion. And you got three, right? Yeah. yeah. Three, three behind, I guess. Four, and. Lines up. Pins you see on the wall. Oh, yeah, you got the, the special mug that I Now, have. here you go. Thanks a lot. It's just a really no, small yeah. jump. You can see it went from 75, know, 150 to 75, so. 125? I don't think that's right. <laughs> it went from 50, 100 to 75, 125. All right. Oh, we're going the down well. the ladder. You, you go, yeah, yeah you go down the ladder, but up in blinds. <laughs> I'm not sure that made much sense to me. What do you mean? It's a, the, it's just the next level. It's like level up, but we move down. I get it. So the, the next sheet. level, we go from 75, 125 to, yeah, to, you can't really bring to 75. If somebody handed you a structure sheet, would it start at 500K, yeah. 1 million? I understand, I Jeff. I was clearly <laughs> reading it like backwards. The next level, what I'm saying is, is not much of a jump. I guess. Hendrix has nines. Right? Well, it, it's pretty standard, I think. I'm, it's not much of a jump. The small blind remains the same. Get him, get him. Or a special That's mug, true. maybe. Yes. In fact, I know, I know for certain that this level, Man, 75, 125, we both had good was on that. added yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had the king. I almost in the later the portion of the 2021 yeah, yeah, yeah. calendar yeah, year of PGT. Yeah, they like, used to skip like, oh, 75, 125. Was it was not there. Everybody could look at it. They just help. went up from 100K <laughs> to 150K? I'm sure the chat's just like, wow, Jeremy's a little. I believe so. Tell box. Wow. Super tell box. tell box. They might say I'm not playing good. Yeah. Yeah, because these did. <laughs> right. Yeah. And the players <laughs> said we need, we need another level here. Right? 
It's a big and jump. A couple of suspect moves. Anyway, moving on. That's all <laughs> boring. Know, it's zero to two hundred fifty k. Let's talk about yogurt. What? I don't know. Don't Boss be afraid to try a big pot. Right. <laughs> Hendrix keeps encouraging them to go bananas. A six six with two diamonds. Osmus does have the king of diamonds. I think we'll see some defensive play here. Both opponents may be very content with king high on this sort of flop. Little's going to continue to tell the story. So it was the pre-flop aggressor that he has some sort of ace certainly have a six as well, but I would not expect Jeremy to fold king high with the king of diamonds in his hand. The hand just too good. Every time you do get, you do call here and your opponent does not have a piece of that board, seemingly have to freeze, right? You're very worried about being up against an ace or trips. And you feel okay having king high at showdown now we're maybe more likely to be on the path to showdown. As we check, check on the turn. Sort of boring path. May I get back to you good folks over at YouTube and Please. Twitch and of course our subscribers on Poker Go who are tuning in for this. If you're on YouTube, subscribe now. Please click right subscribe now. Subscribe immediately. Yep. And Thank thumbs up. Click those like buttons. We have Still to have 1,000 thumbs up on YouTube if we wow. are going to do another free stream tomorrow. That is our goal every single day. And we want to make sure we give you guys more of this free coverage of the U.S. Well, Poker Open on games. YouTube, on Twitch. you got to show us the support. And we're going to give it right back to you. Traps going to go nuts on that one. How could you let him win the pot? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I you weren't winning that pot. I'm just not folding. <laughs> After that last fluff you did on the river, can't fold you. <laughs> <laughs> Seven six of hearts for Hendrix. I'll open here. Osmus out of the way. Little with the 7-5 of diamonds. Pretty one in the big. I love these hands, Jeff. This is my uh, my wheelhouse right here. A yeah. little suited connector. The low cards. And I never flop anything <laughs> yeah, like these eight, guys eight, ever. Heart. Just lose all my money. Yeah, even if you flop something, you'd still find a way to lose. Absolutely. You could have eight, seven here and just lose to like kings on the river for max pain. Right. Happens too often. And this is really the Every power hand. position Last here. Hand Hendrix. This hand is good. Have two queens. Two queens? Yeah, yeah. sure. Two queens. Laster well, Hendrix wins that pot. I made a series of NFTs and they want me to shout them out on the stream. Hello. Sorry, your shout out's not going to work because we got to take a look at the Global Poker hand of the day. It's Global Poker, free poker at its best. And it is Jonathan Little thinking, thinking, and thinking. And eventually, he'll pay off Adam Hendricks here. Hendricks gets max value for his two pair. First time Little lost the chip lead all day. Monumental hand for Hendricks, who, by the way, after that last spot, did in fact reclaim the chip lead. He sits on top of the throne momentarily. And I think that hand also little, he'll go back and review that perhaps with some students and some colleagues. Yeah. Uh, uh, a little misstep in my opinion. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Busy promoting it's a weird NFTs. Blind level. Yeah. It's a little bit harder to do the math with when the big blind's 125K. Thank you. Supposed it's very difficult. Ever. Yeah. Thank goodness we've got a stats board in here so I can <laughs> yeah. figure out how many big blinds people, people have. 
besides me on this hand, if you're not careful, or if I'm not careful. Jack seven seven one diamond. Little has been oh so sticky today. Kicks it up pre-flop 375, and he's just going to continue to bet Jack 7-7 with just ace high. Hendricks has been a thorn in Little's side as well. Let's watch him if he decides to carry on with king high backdoor diamonds as well. It's hard to fight for pots when you're this shallow, yeah, which Hendricks has to throw it away. He only started the hand around 30 bigs. I don't know. And Little now. Back in front. Day. Don't ruin anybody's day, guys. It's almost an identical stack to where he started, started the day around this is the 4. second tournament million. I played where they've had action. First, there was the three diamonds they lost. Today's the nine of spades. They're going to win. So, wait, wait, wait. What, what, has, what has to happen? <laughs> you have to win with a nine of spades or something? No. The, whoever has, whoever the, nine whoever has spades, the nine of spades has gets my action, gotcha. and there's 25 of them at the moment. Oh, and whenever it was the three diamonds, you, you I lost. fizzled out. Yes. It's, got it. It's called deck of degeneracy because you make them gamble. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. A little <laughs> opens ace king. Hendricks with king jack in the small blind. Ooh, a little less is, than 30 bits. Hendricks and Auspice are neck and neck with chips. You can see that both in the blinds. I enjoy a good gamble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and is he talking Hendricks into maybe shoving here, saying he enjoys a good gamble? It, Said the non all in three bet. Yeah, we've seen this already before from Hendricks. It allows him to get away for, from every time your opponent five bets all in, or excuse me, four bets all in, which is exactly what Jonathan Little's going to do with Ace King. Free money out there from Hendricks. I, I do not fault him for that three bet. Owen, there's the chef. There's the fold. Yeah, it's annoying. It's okay. frustrating. It's the right thing to do with that sort of hand. No queen. You're going to three bet no, a hand no like queen. King Brave. Jack off a button open and get a lot of folds. Literally now, I enjoy a good gamble. Why are you re-raising? And so everything that's better is typically going to move it all in pre-flop. Yeah, every tournament I play for the you, next year that's like 10K and higher. They get 1%? I'm going to draw a card for each one. Okay, okay. So you sold the set already of NFT. Yeah. Gotcha. It's fun, right? It gives, yeah. everybody, it gives everybody a little sweat. I think it's cool. You a big NFT guy? You have. We're also giving away like, private home game NFT? entries where we give away money, bonus NFTs if you like art. I, I got to tell you, Jeff, I'm. Uh, it's a fun time. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Good fold. You and me both. Two things we're pretty bad at, mixed game commentary and yeah, NFT discussion. Forward. Yeah, I, I don't, I mean, I'm not even sure I'm good at any commentary, let alone mixed game or NFT talk. No clue. Apparently, you just, if someone says, hey, you should invest in this or buy this, and I think they're really smart and sharp, do it, follow their lead. Even if it's a Ponzi, they'll say, okay, we'll do it for like, you know, a month and then get out. <laughs> Are you an NFT owner? I have some NBA Top Shot. Oh, I've got those. Those are NFTs. Yeah. Oh, I have some yeah, of those. those are yeah. NFTs. I just thought those were cool little digital playing cards. Are those worth anything? I don't know. We, I don't we know. Might be in trouble. It was, it, they were very popular a little while ago. They were. I had fun with those they little had a packs. Run at it. Yeah, the pack sweat was. I fun. like the little. You rip them open and things. You know, the music and stuff. The go. music yeah. hits. Little highlights. And again, a, f a smart person said, oh, you should be doing these right now, these, these top shots. Yeah, they said it a while ago. Right. I think we missed the boat overall. Well, no, we were on there a little bit, but it was they were doing it before that. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah, we're in the same NFT chat. You know we that? are. You know I'm in there? We yeah. are. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, in, I'm in there. You're in there. I haven't. Oh, yeah, are they yeah, talking? Oh, yeah, about? yeah, yeah that, I'm in, that, I'm in that, there. That chat. Oh, yeah. 
Just all kind of. Great so. chat. Like the God's Unchained game? You know God's Unchained? Right. Yeah, yeah. I have um, sure. the other one. Guild of Guardians. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I like the Guild both. of Guardians. I don't, they're different, but they're both on IMX. IMX. And IMX. Nice platform. Great bikes. Right. 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9. Fold. Yeah, JC in, in the chat one? says, God Hanks is God in the Single same. Mother's Weekly Book Club. Not like, not like huge, but it's like it's <laughs> yes, a I am. Yeah. It's like Hearthstone, kind of. Oh, yeah. You're, so you're playing it. Yeah. You're not just for fun, an, for an fun, investor. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I have a problem where I like playing games. Yeah, I know. And I do so uh, I'd rather play a game where you can make 100 bucks a week or whatever. Yeah. Because you can sure. like, grind out some tokens. You know? Yeah. If I'm going to play it anyway, <laughs> I might as well play the one where you can make 100 a week. It's true. I know. I play chess. Um, I go through phases where I get crazy addicted to chess. I'm like, why? Yeah. Why do I have to be so addicted to chess? I'm the same. Not for chess, but Ooh. games in general. You play chess? Do you have two Very poorly. But you know the rules? Like you, can, you could play. Yeah, I, right. I could I play, yeah. You want to start playing? Hand, no, right? I, don't, I don't. I watch Queen's Gambit. A king eight? But, Love uh, it. It's no good. It's a great yeah. show. <laughs> Yeah, I learned my lesson. You know, you should make a poker version of that show. I'm sure you've never heard that before. It's a very original. Oh yeah, statement. yeah. Nobody, no, yeah, nobody, nobody tweeted nobody that. Talks poker about should that. make it. Yeah. Well, I, I, we definitely don't get a lot of ideas that no one's ever heard of before. Cert certainly, very innovative, creative people out there. Ace queen for Osmus on the button. Two hundred fifty. Deuces for little. Mm. Well, I love this hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> ha ha. The mallards. Someone will always laugh. Right in the you. bottom of the river. Defense off 20 bigs. A little less. 10 at 9 at 5. Hendrick swaps the pair of nines in the back door straight flush draw. And these are just intricate spots to pay attention to. If you're tuning in, you have Ace Queen, you've opened off just over 20 bigs seemingly a monster and that's the texture that rolls out how should you proceed and why this is a range advantage after that flop hendrix from the big blind he's going to have more five nines tens than jeremy osmus you saw him check back ace queen hopes of turning a pair acquiring some sort of draw, and Hendrix now sizing it up. He understands his nine likely to be out in front. We're going to deny equity from various hands. An Osmus, a decision. Is ace-queen high still the best hand? There are plenty of semi-bluffs out there. Osmus does make the call. 1.15 million in the middle. River is the seven of clubs. Hendrix's hand is still best. And Hendrix understanding it's unlikely that Osmus would have checked back a flush draw on the flop. What hands would he have checked back? Does this seven of clubs change anything? And if it doesn't, perhaps we could consider checking to give Osmus the opportunity to get some bluffs through, or at least attempt a bluff. Maybe a little bit concerned at the same time. I don't think Osmus would be telling too much of a believable story on this run out, this texture with his hand. And he is going to check it back. Hendricks will show down the winner. Fun calling hand. Huh? Fun calling hand. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not folding that one. Unless I put you to the ultimate test. That's true. <laughs> then he might. 
can't fold the jack. Jack of clubs. Can't fold that. <laughs> insane. Yeah. Not much of a test when you have the jack. Yeah. Storm X is PokerGo's exclusive cryptocurrency partner. Happy to have them on board for the PGT, which includes the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. I have no idea how to count stacks of five. I know. <laughs> What was that, 125? I'm changing now. You got a 125 piece? I was looking at it too, I'm like, oh, this is tough. It's like a oh, chance for one. 250? Yeah. 250? I got 250. Oh, he's feeling himself down there. Six deuce deuce. Yeah. That'll bet small, that'll just get the job done. Let me ask you something, Jeff. Please. Do you remember the Beanie Baby era? Absolutely. Yeah, were you a collector? Mm. Did you play no, that Storm X thing? I think my sister no. had some, though. Did you? And weren't they Nobody all the, the, the rave? The they were. Every, yeah. I'm not Are they still worth anything? I, I today? You got an invite? No. It's Come like a, it was a crypto thing, right? Some crypto thing, yeah. Is it yeah. possible that heard. Oh, yeah? NFTs could be like the next it's such a turbo, though? Beanie I think Baby? I think like they outrage like a bunch the of Beanie YouTube Babies. Pieces. Yeah, a yeah. little yeah. more money in the yeah. NFTs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. probably so. I don't know. I never got the... Yeah, or Carl Shulman was on there. And just our timelines have yeah, been overwhelmed by NFTs. Someone like, what do they do? That'd be funny. And they actually aren't that popular, but since we follow people in the poker world, we've got to have over a lot more NFT I don't know. Yeah, those are out. Or those are in. What was your favorite Beanie Baby? I know you had a collection you mentioned. It's my sister's collection, but I, I think Ty the Elephant, wasn't that the most sure, valuable I one? I knew you would know exactly yeah, I think Ty. what your favorite Beanie Baby was because it was that your sister's collection. That's what everybody says when they don't want to yeah, I mean, you know, acknowledge their own. Under the family name. Osmus oh, mixing it up here. A little small raise out of position off that awkward stack size. Tries to represent a little bit of strength and get some folds pre. Walks into the ace eight suited. These are stacks of 10 now? Uh, 12. 12? No. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, I don't know. They're 10. They look funny. I don't know. They're 10. <laughs> I was only doing the fives because I had two. my... Oh, maybe you, Ty you was the company and not the... Uh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> not the right name now? of no, one of the ten. Beanie Babies. Okay, trying to backpedal a little bit, huh? Talking about the NFTs. Well, no, I'm looking it up. I love the so NFTs. it was... <laughs> Ty was the company that put out Beanie Babies. Very... Huh. Oh, man. Little with Queen Jack. Have, uh, Drops the hammer. Says all of it. 125 big, huh? Oh, he left me chips back again? Nice. <laughs> Stop and go. Incoming. Um. Hendrix has fours. Has threes. Lays Jeremy it down. Ace king. A little king different scenario call. versus call Jeremy's off, calls call with the threes, like me, considering <laughs> Jeremy's current stack. Jeremy definitely would have called with threes again, I believe. With his stack. Right. But Hendrix can't. Hendrix cannot. Jeremy right. can't. Two fours there. I think Osmus can flick in the call from the big. Hmm. <laughs> One point four can't. two five. Ten six suited for Hendrix. Mm -hmm. Osmus mm -hmm. mm -hmm. find a qualifier. He does not. He's gonna fill threes again. Got excited. I would have had two overs again somehow. <laughs> Osmus in a bit of trouble at the moment. Let's take a look at our event number three final table arrangement presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. Sorry, I, I don't it know is not, but I thought it was I'm pretty cool. Oh, I got it with my small boy. Little Hendrix I Osmus on still on. the fisherman? Uh, shark. I don't know which one's which. <laughs>
Smith says no thank you there. And all of a sudden, Little has just built a big stack once again. Yeah, and he's going to be able to continue to leverage. Stacks eight, so. Seven million, that's 60, about 65% of the chips in play, which is the third time he's accumulated oh, wow, that mass. Playing great. Three spreads. No pocket threes call incoming, I guess. Always funny stuff happens these hands, guys. All right. All right. See you at the river. King 10 for yeah. Little. Says, let's dance. Ooh. And Hendrix. One point. Considering? Two, yeah, seems interested. He's got a qualifier by the looks of it. So speed, maybe like ace 10, ace Has 9. Has the ace 9 suited? Yeah. A fascinating spot here considering Osmus has less than 10 bigs. And just knows it's the best hand. It's a matter of ICM and Jeremy Osmus being so short. Time bank used for an additional 30 seconds to act. A 44K pay jump from third to second. Along with a 44 point difference in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. has to realize he's probably 60 40 but there's a chance he could be 70 30 if he's dominating little's hand in any way shape or form <laughs> gone are the glory days of poker where you look down at this sort of spot and holding Whoa. and you just what stick it, it in feeling like it's it was, the best uh, eight, eights nines eights eights <laughs> no 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 not eights or nines no you want to say it one time Sure. Okay. It was ace it's okay. jack. Okay. It's it was okay. ace jack. Ace jack. Please down no. the ace nine suited. You, were, you had the king nine. It, it, we were flipping. So yeah. Those hands, yeah. We were flipping. <laughs> Threes. Threes with a dead three. That's what you have to Sounds consult. Like Sixes. That one like gave Hendrix a headache. Hand, and this right? is, you know, for me, Jeff. <laughs> and, and like, oh. This is where the ICM and and. and the, the evolution of this game has sort of, I don't know, it's kind of, it's its turned me off in a way. It hurts you a way. little to see it that It stings, that you know? Yeah. Like, what happened to you're not put saying it in wrong. there, you know you're you got saying, the best yeah. of it, you kiss the biceps and you're pumped up, <laughs> you put the money in good, you celebrate, and if you take the bad beat, you you know, you put your hands on your He's head like Mike Mattisau and you, you storm yeah. out of there. It, Man, that came back. that we era, that dry, wave is gone. You guys we were can, there. You we can spike on me again. You can spike on me again. I think it's so well down. studied. It's doable. Analyzed. You can spike on me again. <laughs> <laughs> Get lucky on me again. <laughs> All right, Jeremy. I have eight, nine, seven, five. It hurts me. It really does. You know, I, I promise, whenever you see me in this spot again, which may it's never that, happen. Yeah. Okay. I am not ever folding in those. I am putting the damn money in. Yeah. I'm playing for the <laughs> win, and I'm thrilled that I, I got the money in, even if it's wrong sure. based sure. on theory. Fold. And that's why people will be thrilled to have nah. me at their final table. Nah. 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 I think you should. There's a probably. trophy and everything. I don't know. That's true. You yeah. made the final three of the last tournament you played, right? A six-handed event. Oh, the six-handed sit and go yeah. thing we you made, you made final three here that will never be aired yeah i'm a chop the tournament four yeah ways. jeff i made it. did you make the, the final three no i chopped no. it 25 percent each way where was this borgata or something uh this was in biloxi i think this one the be guy good really wanted the trophy half the chips oh that's so nice. i did not get the trophy i'm sure it was a great trophy i did some similar ones uh oh <laughs> it's a kind of cool bracelet thing he's talking to us so he can shove on us yeah. <laughs> that's exactly it's right classic jeremy classic <laughs> It's like when he busted no, Seth yesterday, he just quietly talked to him and <laughs> flipped it in and had it <laughs> dominated. Oh, the live reads. A very oh. short 900,000 in the middle. That'll get through. He just kind of hangs around what you and got then now? pounces. It's what Jeremy Osmus does. We started the day by saying goodbye to Nidus Dornpip out in sixth place. Eric Seidel eliminated in fifth for the second time in three days. Shannon Shore follows up his win in event number one.
with a fourth place finish in event number three. He is on top of the U.S. Poker Open standings. All now in. it's Osmus in third, Hendricks in second, Little, our chip lead, who says all of it. And Hendricks looks down at ace queen in the small blind. He folds this, headsets off. I'm You're walking out. out. I'm done for the rest of the show. Well, it's a win win for me. Hendricks. Ace queen off. You put the money in. Don't <laughs> you dare. The money does go in. Oh, you called? Yeah. Well, Osmus out of the way. And here we go. The four and the Hendrix five is going four to be ahead. Eight. Four and the eight. Of hearts. You see the little grimace on Hendrix's face. Yeah. It's not like he's that far ahead, about a 60 40 favorite. Why are you slower me with Ace Queen, man? Come on. Got to think about things. Come on. Jeremy's just drowning over Rooting there. Rooting for one of you guys. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> Appreciate it. I won't say who it is, but I like you both. I think we can guess who Osmus is rooting for. I might have the nine of spades in FT. Well, the ace queen nice. pulled up. King 10 seven, couple backdoor draws for Little, and of course could also just find an eight or a four. Yeah, not out of the woods yet, although a nice texture for Hendrix. Lock it up. Turn card. Come on. It's the right queen there. of spades. There no is. drama in this no one. Sweat. Come on. Adam Hendricks has found Spike another double up. <laughs> it's a real angry call. He's at more than 4.6 million and is very close to little for the chip lead. And he was obviously the one Osmus was rooting for, right? Oh, clearly. Yeah. 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 Adam Hendricks, what a ride. Entering this final table, sixth with six left. Took the chip lead. Ace and queen, cool. all right, all Big right. Hand. Dropped back down to third with three left, and now is back to <laughs> second. But close to the chip lead. Did I explain that well enough I think you? you nailed it, Payouts yeah, presented by StormX, our final three. Guaranteed $105,600, a 44K pay jump from third to second, and up top more than 211K and 211 points in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. Hendrix will open on the button. The Jack Seven of Hearts. Little the 4-3 of spades. Osmus begging for absolute chaos. He lied. What? Oh, no. Can't jam. I forgot you doubled up already. Comes nine of five deuce. Little flops the open ender. Couple backdoor straight draws for Hendrix. At 225k. How does Little proceed here? Looks like he's going to take the check raise route. Beautiful stuff, favorable texture, <laughs> equity in the hand, of course. Hoping to shut it down right now, and even in the event that he does get called. Get a little bonus. And still make a straight. Jonathan Little looking for his first tournament win since August of 2019, when he won almost $100,000 at a 2K event at Seminole Hard Rock. Doesn't play as much as he used to, a family man. He and his wife Amy have two young boys. They live in New York City. Coverage of the USPO presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. Blind versus blind, little. Up to 375K with Jack 10. Brent, we have event number four underway right now, the 10K Big Bet Mix. Yeah, a little uh, 31 out there, 31 okay. players playing right now. And I'm going to give you the top five Please. and chip counts. And if you want to do this as well, pgt.com, uh, click on live reporting. You can't miss it. Chip leader, 
How about Ali? I'm sure of it. There he out is. Oh for, oh for the USPO so far. Oh for saying. the USPO. Uh, second, I believe, is his girlfriend, Kristen Neiman. She's in there. Poker Third power is couple. Taman Nakamura. The Fourth, King. Alex Livingston. And fifth is Rok Gostisha. That rounds out your top five. I see Chino Reem hanging around the top ten as well. Remember, PGT.com. Head on over to live reporting. That final table will be brought to you tomorrow as well. Ali Najad and TBD commentary as far as the co-host is concerned. Osmus with ace four in the big blind. Little open to 275K with the queen 10. And Osmus will fling the chips in. Little will make the call, and here we oh, go. I, I, know. I, I mean, how could I pull? Jeremy. Queen yeah, 10 has been hot today. Are. If I would have had 30 bigs, he would just snap. <laughs> but Osmus yeah. is ahead at the moment with the ace four. Good luck in the next one. Can that ace high hold up for Osmus, <laughs> or are we down to heads up play? I'm tall on one for you. Thank you. Jack six deuce. Safe flop for Osmus. Little, Little needs a queen or a 10 or backdoor cards to make a straight. Uh, does have the backdoor flush draw as well. Peace. Turn card. How about a heart? Uh -oh. Is the four of hearts. Well, that makes things Quite fun. How about 14 and outs? Don't lose. I, know, I have like 35 outs or something. You see yeah. on top of your screen, something a queen, like a 10, or a heart. With card distribution, you have it. To eliminate Osmus. And the river yeah, is the king. Venue. Jeremy Osmus just does not go quietly it. into the night. And Jonathan Little does not win any all-in. <laughs> so I think he's doubled up 15, well, 15 times Spike he's me. doubled up somebody at this table. Times. In two hours. It's pretty absurd. Look like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Used to this. It's what I do. Save the stories, the sob stories for your NFT investors. Exactly, exactly. I'm sure they're going nuts in the chat, in the Discord. Three-time bracelet winner, Jeremy Osmus, out of Las Vegas. It's a big sweat. Look at his bio board presented by GPITHM, won the 1K. They get $2,000 COVID win. relief event yeah. of the series to effectively kick the off the WSOP and then the yeah. 50K PLO to effectively <laughs> end it. Followed that up with the Poker Go Cup Nine Series championship. Nine and they free roll for the rest of the year. Imagine if we were in that, we invested. I just like can't bust you though. Don't know why everybody wouldn't buy it. I mean, it's free as free can be. Three fifty. Three hundred fifty. Fourteen awesome. bigs. Queen nine. Small blind. Again attacking little. And who again wakes runs up. into it. Yeah. This little has the goods here in the form of the Ace King of Hearts. Owen. And this is another Ooh. example of really how the game is, is oh, I changed dramatically. I should have shoved, probably. Nah, there, exactly. Osmus. Queen know. 9, 14 bigs, call, blind on blind. You would think it's just a slam dunk yeah, all in. A call. Instead, took the lower variance approach. And perhaps saved his tournament life as he was walking right into Ace King suited. I bet your chart says that was a call. Well, I bet your chart says that was probably a call. It was so good. Yeah. Oh, Ace King. Fine. Ace King. <laughs> no, no. No. Probably a call. I would have liked for you to call. Probably so a suited. Flop a pair. An aces. It might just be a call. It's a really good hand. Three six behind. Gotta consult the charts in my brain too. You can just have that one. I don't want to play oh this. Oh my god. I don't want to play this one. I saw an eight. It's on eight? I picked up a five. Oh, five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure mine was a raise there. I don't care. Take a hand off. Not this hand yet. This is it. Yeah, 75, 150. Oh, that was the one hand. Okay. One hand okay. Mm. Lines are going up. Okay, no more. I'm not going to take any more hands off. 75K, 150K uh, with the 150,000 big blind hands. I'm taking it easy on you guys. guys. That means, Brent, you guys got just it. about 70 yeah. bigs on the do, table. I'll, I'll just be here. Passive. Yeah, this no just cannot hands. last funny, right? much longer. It really much. can. It, they had a long day one. Played, what, 14 hours or so? Yeah, ended at 2.30 in the morning. These guys got the cards in the air at noon inside the studio. They got out of here at 2.30 a.m., so 12 and a half hours. Is that right? And they'll probably jump into the next event as well. It's a grind. I would expect all three of these players 
to play the big bet mix. Same. Certainly Osmus. I'd say 100% Hendricks. He is a PLO superstar. And I think Jonathan Little's out here to grind, and he's got some ammo now with this podium finish. No Which is worth off. at least $105,700. Well, that's, that's a good slogan. Any of, yeah, no, no hands, hands off. off. That's a good one. Any of them that are like pretty bad, but I'm supposed to raise them, I'm just going to raise them for now. And sometimes they're bullshit because I'm in net. 211K up top. I'm not going to do that anymore. Decided. Fifty-five percent of the chips in play. He's talking to himself. Yeah. <laughs> he, he usually shoves after that. Yeah, I know. You can already see it coming. Pulled. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. He knew you reverse, had reverse reverse reads or something. Yeah. Reverse tells. Probably should show. I mean, if you start talking to yourself, <laughs> we're going to believe it. I was singing to myself, not talking. Oh, that's, that's true. That's an important humming, 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 right? distinction. Big, big difference. 44K pay jump from third to second. Little, Hendricks, Osmus, our final three. All in? Uh, 15, 3, and 3 next hand. <laughs> <laughs> <Little wins. laughs> my hopes up, man. That's what I was trying to do. I need to change. Oh my god, I want all the change. I yeah, literally yeah, want yeah. all the change at the table. No, no. Here, that's for you. Oh, what is that? Five? And here, that's for you. Okay. All right. Peking. Man. Hendricks, the 10 off in the small blind. Osmus in the big with about six bigs. And a pretty zero hand here yeah. for Hendricks. This might be one of the rare occasions you do see a walk. Uh, he says, no, no, 10-4, let's go. Good enough, Osmus decision, jack eight high. Six bigs, probably good enough, Jeff. The shrug. And does make the call, and here we go. Osmus all in and at risk what again. Sorry, what is that? <laughs> Aggressive. Was that a slow roll? No, no, his 10-4, it's aggressive. Yes, oh. this was a slow roll. Net roll. 10-4 for it. Hendricks. Looking to finally get Chase rid of Jeremy Osmus. That so nice. But that's like proven nothing. to be okay. one tough no. task, as we've seen over these last couple months here at the Poker Go studio. Ace King three, no help to Hendricks. Needs a 10 or a four, does have a couple of backdoor straight draws. The turn card is the eight. That's a beautiful one for Osmus. It limits Hendricks to just three outs. Who needs a 10 and a 10 only to bust Osmus? It's a jack, two pair for Jeremy. Jeremy. He does not turn. lose <laughs> all <laughs> ins. Yeah, in this venue, he just... He, he busts till uh, Reg is closed, and then he wins. Then he wins Osmus yeah. is automatic whenever the money goes in the middle. Yeah, I've been doing that. I win a lot of all ins. It's up to 1.9 million in chips. He was you never just know. there 10 minutes ago. Yeah. He'll drift down. He's going to get there again, oh, okay. Jeff. Okay. He's good at all ends. It's an important skill to have. I, f little known yeah, fact so. about Jeremy Osmus. He's good at everything bad in life. <laughs> all ends, yeah, I could see guitar, yeah. piano, being a dad, being yeah. a hu He's good at everything. And of course, just playing poker in general. Little will just get the walk with the 8-4. Three-handed for you. the title. The 2022 World Series of Poker is right around the corner. There's no better time than now to lock in a PokerGo subscription so you don't miss any of the action. Sign up for a new annual sub or upgrade now using the promo code USPO22. That's USPO22 to save $20 off the yearly price. The WSOP. Coming to the Strip in Las Vegas, Nevada. What a setup that's going to be inside Jeremy's Bally's wish. in Paris. Huh? 
Right in the, the heart. Oh my Can't wait for the Las that. Vegas I think the World trip, Series yeah. needs that presence. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Wow. Jeremy calls a Jack A. Why don't you call a Jack 7? Not as good as him. You'll probably play some events. You'll probably be uh, free from work. You don't really oh, work much during the series. I am begging series. and pleading for work this <laughs> summer. Jeremy's looking at Snapshot right now. What? Looking at Snapshot. Oh, Snapshot? Little has separated himself him. from the rest of the pack. <laughs> can be you try to find it? And he has King 9 helpful. here. No. You know what's coming. That stack of 100K Bumblebee chips. It's just some. Don't worry. It's call it all in. It's all the same. One meal, one. And Hendricks, again, interested from the small Two. blind. He has another decision. Two million, one hundred. This time, I think he looks really strong with that face. There it is. And he oh. has two red queens. And here we go, Adam right, Hendricks. Two. I'm going to spike on you this time, I think. Maybe. He's found himself in Maybe. good shape to so. double up again. I, I'm, I'm finally feeling... I think it's time for you. We've been doing this long enough. It's your, it's your time. I've got it in bat about seven times, so you think I'm going to win one? It's your time. Hendrix all in and at risk. Come on. Queen, Jack yeah, five, but Little does flop the gut Three shot, nine, does four. have the back door no, flush draw. Four outs only. Four. <laughs> Plus ba clubs. Back door draw, yeah. It's not so bad. For now, looking for a 10. Oh. Finding it on the turn. Oh, boy. Not okay. over yet. As <laughs> Hendricks could fill up, could find the case queen on the river. You have a lot of outs, too. I do. Yeah. 10 of them, to be More exact. And the river is a 10. <laughs> Queens fair, full fair. for Adam Hendricks. That's one way what for the game. Queens to hold. But Jonathan Little cannot eliminate anyone at this final table. Another double up we've been anti for his opponent. For, I know. Today. A lot. Dramatic run out. Here comes the Alaskan. Mr. Hendricks, play a little solo for us, man. I don't know. I don't know how you guys win these tournaments. <laughs> I don't know. And Hendricks has again assumed the position of chip leader. They're hard to win. I'm with you. About $2.5 million Three, in career life tournament five, earnings. Four, that places four. him number one on Alaska's all time money four, list. 4.4, buddies. He's playing the role of uh, Trajan Langdon today as the Alaskan assassin, am I right? Oh, Mr. Langdon, Langdon, that's right. Nice little throwback, and it is absolutely madness here inside the studio. I'm not sure if the button was right, but whatever. It doesn't make a difference. I, I, was, I was small blind last He was small blind. Right? the queen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I had a six in okay. the big. I feel like I was just in the big blind, but I guess I was just no. in the big blind. You were but. Hit the music as we take a look at the leaderboard presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. And again, it's Adam Hendricks's name on top. Jonathan Little in second. Jeremy Osmus. The short stack. A role he's become accustomed to playing. About 1.5 million in chips. <laughs> this might be the longest threesome ever recorded. Well, I don't know about I mean, that. I could just get up and leave. <laughs> Little just limped in with ace five. Hendricks with king seven. Just praying for the two pair and two pair or the set and the whatever. It's going to happen sooner or later. <clears throat> Six. King ball on the turn for Hendricks to take the lead. What are you feeling right now if you're Jonathan Little? Annoyed. Yeah. Yeah. I Probably think the more than anything, word for just it. annoyed. But he said it. I mean, he's. He said earlier he's 
sort of dead inside. He's been through the we ringer done. so many times, the ups and downs. Wow. He's seen yeah. it all in poker. But there is a moment, even though when you've yeah, that's you what know, worried about. been in the grave, that you sort of see the Same light again. and hope that it changes. Yeah. It's your time. It's your turn to win. That too. And it goes back to that thumbnail, right? I mean, it, it, for, our, for our show today, <laughs> 4,882 days since he won his last big event. Which one, again is a, a little point exaggerated point? No. considering that that big win one, was more than a million two, dollars three, and he's had some decent sized wins this. since. I'd like to know who created that thumbnail. We, I'll give that name to Jonathan Little. He can take it up with the, uh, <laughs> the YouTube team. What? It's worse than 10 4? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Osmus would have been ready, most likely, How with the T9 there. I had less bigs that time, too. When I had 10-4. Now I have, like, a pretty respectable stack, you know? Now you're peeking. Worse than 10-4. It's like you're not trying to win. I'm not. Jack of <laughs> really diamonds for Hendrix. So look at a pretty one. Deuces for Little. Huey, Dewey, Ducks on the Pond, Mallards. The Sand can't lose, Jeff. You know that. Well, we'll see. 965, one diamond. Deuces still lead. So far, so good. And we, we know how frequent and often Little likes to fight in these spots. Thinks that texture favors him. A little check back from Hendricks now. Brings the ace of hearts. Will the door be open for Hendricks here? Seemingly a favorable card for Hendricks. To want to consider betting. If he does now, he'd be targeting what could have been a flopped pair, perhaps something wired like these little ducklings. He'd have to bet turn and river. Instead, he's just going to try to get the showdown with King High, understanding he can certainly still have the best hand. Now he's got the nut no pair. Sure. And the nut low pair for Little. This is very creative. I think he's considering betting here for the times that Little did have a little pair. Six, Given this, or this run hands. out, the ace turn and queen river, that's beautiful yeah. stuff right there. Don't give oh. the opportunity to Jonathan Little to show down a little wired pair or a five or a six. That is great stuff. That is really, it is top shelf, believe it or not. Knows where that camera is too, I love it. So we take a look at our chip there? denominations. No. no. Presented by Storm was good, don't worry. Poker goes exclusive cryptocurrency partner, Purple Chips 25K. Margaritas and oh, margaritas. Oh. Show. Let's get some margaritas. Oh, okay, now we're talking. Sounds Jeremy, good. can you pour some tequila Comisario in there? Oh. We can play reasonably. <laughs> Little might need the whole bottle after <laughs> this last Yeah, forget a margarita, man. Gone. Yeah, bring so him just, the whole bottle I mean, of tequila really Comisario. <laughs> you he might suck it all spots, down. <laughs> like, even close spots on the button. It's just like... <laughs> You can always try to get one through, you know? <laughs> Use that image? Yeah. Hide image I got. Okay. 1.3. Again. Hold on. Okay. Gonna put the pressure on with the 10 3. <laughs> Osmus has King Queen awesome. suited. Here we go. What you got, a king and queen? King and a queen, the same suit. Oh, wow. It's a serious hand. And you block the, the 10, suited 10. Yeah, we might as well not even run it <laughs> out. You, you're done. <laughs> yeah, this, this hand's a bit too ugly to lose. Yeah. 
We don't, even, we don't need to go through the formalities. One point. Austin like is all equity. in and at risk once <laughs> again. Yeah, okay. Good game. And it comes ace 3 3. <laughs> I really felt I was going to lose. <laughs> I think everyone does. Well, back door draws yeah. for Osmus, but he is in a heap of trouble Ten here. They made fun of me last time. Jack of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, Jack's not very good. You have a literal no, no outs. On well, the turn is the five, and, game. and that'll just do it for Jeremy Osmus, <sighs> the Poker Go Cup champion. Eliminated in third, yep. $105,600 in Brent. 106 points in the race for the series championship. Points, another six-figure score, top three finish, and the first all-in he's yeah, lost in the better part of six out. months. Thanks. Tremendous like stuff again for oh, Jeremy Osmus. He's no doubt going to hop inside the big bet mix. Just you running heads on the outside. No, me neither. <laughs> Power. Took that with a very positive yeah. attitude. Was probably due for one of those. <laughs> That's four years old. Yeah. We'll get set for heads up play between Jonathan Little and Adam Hendricks. We'll just move Hendricks to yeah, the that, side. Yeah, that's he just lost. Yeah, you take that one. <laughs> Do I get this one? This one's won every all in. Give me my chair, though. <laughs> Some seat run good then, perhaps, for Little as we take a look at the leaderboard. Presented by Global Poker, it is free poker at its best. And Brent, here we go. Heads up for the title, Hendricks with the chip lead. Oh, yeah. Here we go indeed, baby. <laughs> Thank you for that dynamite drop in, Brent. I'm just, this song, it's yeah, kind of got that whole the music. get lucky vibe by uh, yeah, Pharrell like and Daft Punk, doesn't it? It's like I, the, I like your no gamble, no future you swag. Like this. You know what where you can find it. Yeah, yeah. shop.pokergo.com, poker items. For every Poker Go enthusiast can be found in that shop. Check out our collection of shirts, hoodies, hats, even exclusive memorabilia items. Again, that's shop.pokergo.com. Get there now. It is all lined up with some new items, some of which were on the screen right there. Jeff, a little disappointed that our own show, our own gear, No Gamble, No Future, didn't make the graphic. We didn't make the promo graphic. No, nah, so we're just getting it. Let's keep talking about it, huh? Let's go over there, sell that merch, make sure you get in there. Now. He's Brent Hanks. I'm Jeff Platt. Thank you for joining us. Heads up for the title of event number three of the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. $149,600 is guaranteed to our final two. And up top, two, more than 211 k 211 points in the race for like that Golden lines. Eagle Trophy. 35. Seems like a lot. Have you seen like the Poker Rushmore uh, hoodies and shirts it's over there in the shop coming. yet? I have, I'm yeah. High stakes awesome. poker and yeah. also no gamma, no future. Beautiful. No, that's, that's my favorite one in the shop. One, two, three, three point five. Three point five. About a two to one chip lead for Hendricks. Limson with the seven deuce off, which you would approve of, yes. No folding. Heads up, you can limp liberally. Any two cards are going to get a fantastic price. And just a little dunkaroo, a little stab. Bet them in. Hope to get the grin in the fold. Queen there 10. it is. I'll double check that board. Queen, like Queen Jack Bet or something. Man, get the, the grin and you win. Right. Jonathan Little is looking for his 15th career title. He's 14 and nine, heads up. Hendricks looking for his fourth career win. Three and four lifetime heads up. Hendricks has won a 10K at a Poker Go Major at a PGT series. Won the 10K PLO at the Poker Masters last year. Is this the first opportunity for Little to take home a title inside the studio? Yes, it is. There we go. limps in here. It's the 8-7 of hearts for Hendricks. All in. All in. Pile. Oh. Driver. Oh. The closest Little has come before today to a PGT victory was his fourth place finish at last year's 50K at the U.S. Poker Open. There is a look at your payouts presented by Storm X. $211,200 awarded to our winner. And this just sort of has, Little has not won an all-in, and I don't know how long. 
yeah. at this final table. I, you, that has to be running through his head. Sort of, I'm due, I'm due, I'm due, or I'm so unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. But that is the nature of the beast when it comes to poker. And a couple snowmen here for Hendricks. Little Ooh, with uh -oh. an ace in his hand. Could this All be in? it? Oh, All boy. in. And All here right. we go. Hendricks with the eights. Little with the ace deuce. He's the one all in and at risk. Eights. eights and ace. Ace. Eights and an ace. Ace. Little calling for that ace. Going to need some help to He's stay alive. So Except for one. Against Jeremy. But against you, I'm running good. I've lost every all in, I think. Little Not entered one, the I day as the chip leader. Again, I think. Hendricks came into right. the day six with six left. For fun, you know, for the, for the fans. For the culture? Yeah. For the NFT? Yeah. You're convincing me. That's the flop. Two in the window is even a great Queen chord. six, three. In the three. Backdoor wheel draw for Little. Backdoor flush draw for Little. But for now, looking for an ace. The right. five of clubs pops up on the turn. Makes it oh, interesting. Bevy of outs for Little. Looking for a club, a four, or an ace. Or else Hendricks is our winner. River card. The jack from short stack to champion. The comeback is complete for Hendricks. <laughs> and all the pocket fives and investors over on that staking portion of the site, they can all celebrate. Short stack, champion, two hundred eleven thousand dollars. Event number three. There I, he I is. I lost. Jonathan Goodbye. Little did lose, <laughs> but put up Wait, a valiant effort. He finished in second oh. place. Our runner-up Brent wins one hundred forty-nine thousand six hundred dollars, and what could prove to be one hundred fifty very valuable points for him. Well, we know that Little's going to stick around. As <laughs> he's going to head over to the cage and collect that cash, get ready for event. Number four, take a look at it one last time. Here's your results. Yeah, Nidus eliminated in six to start off our final table coverage for about 53K. Eric Seidel out in fifth for 70K. Shannon Shore now has a first and a fourth place finish. Jeremy Osmus is on the board here at the U.S. Poker Open. Little in second, but there is our champion. It's Adam Hendricks. His Hoist second that thing, man. PGT trophy in the last two years, and he is now in second in the race for the U.S. Poker Open Series Championship, in the race for that Golden Eagle Trophy, and in the race for that $50,000 prize that comes with it. What a final table it was. And more U.S. Poker Open coverage is on the way. For our incredible crew, for Brent Hanks, I'm Jeff Platt. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow for more at the 2022 U.S. Poker Open.